doing oh my god i can't hear myself anymore that is so weird um eve thank you so much for the 50 subs i appreciate it hello thank you thank you um okay i might be screaming am i screaming i can't hear myself oh gosh um because my microphone kind of broke uh the the thing to put the headset in broke so i have my headset uh, plugged into my PC now, which one means I can't hear myself, so I don't know how loud I am, and two, um, Hi, Nikki. I just wanted to say this again. I love you and your content. I forgot what I wanted to say. Um, oh, uh, I don't know how the audio sounds. Does the audio sound okay? I'm not too loud. Okay, perfect. Does the out does the audio sound okay? Um, cause I can't obvious I can't hear the mu. I don't know how loud the music is. It's good. Okay, just if anything with the audio happens, I'll also later when I talk to Minx and Rihanna over Discord, just tell me. If I start screaming, just tell me because, like I said, I can't hear myself and uh, I like it sounds kind of muffled because these headphones pretty much absorb most of uh the noise so yeah how are you guys um I, yeah how are you how, how how are you chat sorry how are you <laughs> uh we're gonna listen to some hospital person because they told me that their music is dmca free or i'm allowed to use it on stream so we're listening to some hospital bracelet you're good i'm glad i'm glad guys that's so good um, we're doing an advice dream today, and we're gonna be drinking, so, it, so, disclaimer, drink responsibly, I am not a huge drinker myself, I don't really drink, the only times I drink, you guys mostly see it, because I'm on the drunk cast, um, I never drunk before, I will not drink again after quarantine, it's just a way to pass the time, I guess. Um, I am over the age, I have, I am legal drinking age here, I am responsible, I have my water here, um, and I won't be drinking much. That's, that's that. We're gonna be doing advice, we're gonna take, ask, like, we're gonna let you guys ask us advice, and we're going to try and give you, no, ask for advice, and we're going to try to give that to you. I'm so sorry, this is confusing. Okay, I'm going to listen to myself. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit, I keep forgetting what I wanted to talk about. I don't know why. Um, thank you for all the subs, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wait, let me get my, my drink, my drink. Um, yeah, we're going to do it with Minx and Rihanna. Oh yeah, I, I remember what I wanted to say. Um, I <laughs> The reason why we're doing this, or the reason why I was invited to this, because I think at first it was just Minx and Rihanna planning it, and they invited me because for some reason, whenever I get drunk, I go into therapist mode, which, <laughs> which <laughs> I don't know why. But I, I just really care about people and I just really want to talk about, like, give people advice and ask them how they are. So, um, that's gonna be fun. I don't know how good my advice is when I am drunk because I normally don't listen to myself when I'm drunk. So, we'll see. But this is just for content, this is for fun, and I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therapist Nikki, let's go. Oh, did I? Oh, Chad, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a book. I have a book that I'm, I'm reading right now, and I wanted to show it to you because I think it's really cool. Kia, thank you so much for the gift subs. I appreciate it. Give me a second. Give me a second, Chad. Give me, give me one second. I'm actually reading two books right now. I'm reading two books right now, and they're both pretty cool. Um... 
one of them is really helpful for people because I don't know how many of you <laughs> are in, in school or in uni for therapy or therapist, but you know how I want to become a psychiatrist, so um, I research a lot about it. And I've been reading about, I've been reading this book, which is called Sometimes Therapy is Awkward. And it's basically, uh, it basically just speaks from the perspective of a therapist, or I think it's a therapist, or some kind of clinician. Um, and she talks about how, no, we don't know everything and we sometimes struggle too with giving advice and being the better person. So uh, it's totally normal to have anxiety around that. And I know that m most of my viewers are fairly young or are in uni uh, to study that or just finish that, um, starting to get into a job. And like, if you do, I can 100% recommend this book because it really, it validates some of the feelings that you have of anxiety of, am I really doing the right thing? Am I really giving the right advice to this human being that trusts me with giving them the, the, the advice that they need? Or, you know, just some, I, I was there, like one of the first chapters is about how um, when you're in a one-to-one -one conversation with someone, uh, in a therapy session and sometimes as with every conversation that you have your mind drifts away sometimes and it talks about how um, how it's okay you know sometimes your mind does drift away and it talks about how to deal with that um, and how to communicate with the patient about hey I'm sorry my mind just drifted away, but not in a rude way of like, hey, I don't want to listen to you, uh, for example. And also, you know, just like, um, hey, let's go. Happy birthday, T. I hope you're well. I hope you have a good day. Um, and it also talks, sorry, it also talks about, um, thank you, about how, how we sometimes look because I've had therapists in the past. I've had good therapists and I've had less good therapists for myself. I'm sure they were great people or therapists for other people. Um, but it talks about how like you look up to these people and you're like, they do that so well. They always know what to say. And I don't. But it says, like it tells you how no one knows 100% of the time what to say and what to do um, and how to be that person that they rely on. And I think, I don't know, TLDR, I think this is a really good book if you are starting to work, not maybe not just as a therapist, but also just in the medical field or in the field where you give people advice, like as a counselor or something. Um, or yeah, just, just anywhere where you, uh, where you have to be, I guess, confident in what you say. I think this is a really great book for that. And then I'm also reading this book, which I <laughs> I I put that I put it like this on the on the on my window ceiling. Well, not ceiling, like the the place at the window. And my cats jumped on it, and they and they sat on it. So now it's a bit a bit weird, but um, it's about sleep paralysis. Cause if you uh, know me, I don't know, I said that on stream before, that whenever I get, like, whenever I get scared of something, don't ask too quiet, all right, whenever I get scared of something, I like to research about it and learn about it, um, and I think this is a really cool book, not just to learn about it, but also just to, to read about it, because I don't know if you guys remember my tweet from, like, a few months ago, I deleted it, like, very quickly, but I got a lot of responses of like, uh, how do people deal with sleep paralysis? Because I then woke up from like the worst sleep paralysis that I've ever had. And that's made me decide, all right, time to get a book and time to read about it to kind of take away, window still, oh, okay, okay. To kind of take away, um, I guess the fear that I have. Um, and I think it's a really cool book just to read about it. Oh. Now I have lipstick on it. Yeah, these are the books that I'm reading right now. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for all the subs, I appreciate it. I can't hear myself, this is so weird. <laughs> so weird, so weird. Um, ooh. Okay, um, the girls started a call, so I will, I will join them now, chat. I will join them now. Lag? Oh, I think it's because Rihanna is streaming too. That's a problem. That's an issue. Um, hey, one second. Hey, you, but I love you. Actually, Hope I can just join. So Go! Hey, oh, wait, uh, so what are you guys streaming? One, one second, Rihanna. I think yes. because we're both streaming, we might be lagging. Are you lagging? No. Hey, Nikki, Why am I lagging? Happy birthday, Shah. It's my birthday. Okay, no lag. Three. Okay, cool. How are you? Hello. 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 I'm gonna quickly put you up. Minx on is the in a bitchy stream. mood. Just, Hi, just give me. I'm you literally know. not in a bitchy mood. Rihanna's just being the a con. The first thing she said to me was like, "I was a motherfucker." She saw at me. I don't know. Actually, that's a lie. What happened, Nikki, was she was in the call muted, so I was embarrassed, so I muted too. And then the moment I muted, she goes, "Uh." So I said, "What the fuck?" Now you're gonna say, "Uh," and then she's like, "Why are you being such a bitch?" And then I said I was gonna fuck her, and then she goes, "No, we're enemies." Why are you enemies? Is. Yeah, why are we on Thank the drunk cast? She was me. She knows what she did. She fucking knows. She she said I had a dusty pussy. It... You're the most super cool girl. <laughs> I just started <laughs> streaming. Yeah. He said she had a dusty pussy. <laughs> uh, wait, what are you drinking, Nikki? Hello. Come on. I love Sorry. you and so much and remember I love you. Fireball. Mm. Yeah. I'll get my drink then. Should I? No, I think I'm just gonna go with vodka. I'm just gonna drink vodka? I have every alcohol in the house. Okay, what well, alcohol do you today have? Just to flex. I got Jack Daniels honey, White Claw, Smirnoff Seltzer, oh. vodka, hey, um, Malibu, Nikki Finn. Such a great distraction. Oh. For what? Life gets that is a lot. Crazy. I have people coming over tomorrow and I, they won't tell me. They were like, no, you don't. Just buy us any drink. And they won't fucking tell me. So I bought every drink I could. So, because I like to impress people. Aww. I like your eyeliner today, by the way. Thank you. I, I fucked it up. Her. To... You know what? What did you say, Rihanna? Nothing. What did you say? Hi, Nikki. She it's said, been don't five compliment months, her. Hey! For yeah, hey! This terrible time. Not you, Siri. We're here yeah, to have a good drink. time. We're here to have yeah, a good we're here time. To have a great I'm going time. to put the fireball in my McDonald's cup. Okay, that's just sh a shout. If you need any more alcohol, I have alcohol in here. I do not need I... more alcohol, Rihanna. I do you not want to drink much. <laughs> no, I don't. Hi, Nikki. You look but thank you. Can you say happy birthday? My Shah. chat says hello, Nikki. <laughs> hey Nikki, this is my first dono ever. It's okay, I Rihanna, you can say you're in love with me. I'm gonna start with a white claw and so then mad. see. Ooh, Ooh, we have we already Sorry. have requests Happy going in. Chat it's yeah. my birthday soon. My inner chaotic evil? I'm just chaotic Nikki, evil, guys. Have a wonderful stream. Uh, happy birthday, Reem! I hope you're well, I hope you have a good day. So I'm how are you guys? I'm not quite sure. Should we make a different zoom? Is it the cam- Because Nikki's camera quality is a bit fucking Love for me. You tons. Thanks for is Zoom everything. better? You do it on Zoom. Why do you do it on Zoom? Okay, chat. I'm not quite sure how the drunk advice thing will happen. Have sessions over because it was practice. an idea from Minx and Rihanna, right? So I don't really know. Um how it's gonna be but yeah <laughs> just just stay here and listen and, and we will both find out <clears throat> all right sorry hello yeah nikki you're sharing like five pixels right now so we're gonna do hello. it on zoom oh please okay say hi to well, we're gonna do voice here Rose and then McGuire, zoom and if it's not too much please tell my other friend lola that she's valid and worth yeah let me did you send the link no can you tell me when you send the link yeah i will this isn't meant to come off as tell me, criticism, though. but you really no. should be more careful mm -hmm. about what you post. I have asthma and am constantly blown away by your beauty. 
Okay, wait, chat. I read this message so much and I get so scared every time. You scare me so much with this message. Mm -hmm. Like under my under my tweets, um, I read it a lot, and I start reading it. And I'm like, oh my god, what did I do wrong? And then I continue reading. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> man, Wex text, you're from Minx's stream. Did you send it? I don't know if she did. Here it is. I can't. I can't share the link, right? Uh, no, you can't. But okay. if you leak that, don't worry, because I just accidentally just put my link in chat. Oh, that's my link again. That's crazy. Okay. Struggling right now. It's a bit, it's a bit you... self advertising going on right now. Don't find me. There we go. That's it. All right. Let me let me quickly go on. I think I need to start Zoom. I, I don't think I have Zoom started. Oh, no. I just clicked on cancel. I'm doing so well right now. Code, 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 code. That's the code. Code. Okay, one second, chat. We're we're going on to Zoom. <clears throat> oh shit! Is my camera flipped? All right, Minx. Can you? Can All right. you let me in? Let me in. Oh let yeah, I forgot in. I should do that. There we go. That's a bit better. Poggers. Make sure to mute and zoom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. Is this better? Is my quality better? <gasps> it is. It is actually. Whoa, it's way better. Even when it wasn't pixelated. What the fuck? Is zoom actually better? I didn't believe Amaranth. I just did it because I was like, ha, she does it. Show me it's better. Boy, I guess it I is. I love Amaranth. Like, I don't know much about her, but I, I think she's cool. Have you ever been on a girl's podcast? Mm -mm. I mean, I've been Would on you your on podcast. She's like, always. Oh, she always asks me. She's like, you. I don't know how to talk to people. Do you know anyone oh. that would want to come on with me? Yeah, I'd love to. Like... Oh, I'm lagging again. Chat, I'm very sorry. Yeah, just refresh when I'm lagging. All right, hello. 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 <clears throat> okay. Are we going to take some shots to like start us off? Because I'm not drunk at all. Well, and this is going to be drunk at you do have a shot glass. No, they're dirty. Ugh. Dirty. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys should share a shot glass. That'd be cute. We're and in... give her Captain Morgan. I've you never had Morgan. Okay, so the, so what you need to know is I've never had any alcohol before coming here, right? Everything that I have tried, you guys know I have tried. Ah, give her Captain Morgan! Give her a shot, Captain Morgan! Oh. Wait, I'll get a shot then too. Uh, Nikki, where's your... Oh, I'm gonna get another shot off, actually. Oh. Hi, chat! I'm... I'm here. Hi, chat. I didn't make my bed, I just realized. Look how... Look how... I'm a professional streamer, chat. <laughs> So there you go. Oh, can't make a wife better. I shaved today. Ooh, did you? Yeah, I like to. I like to keep. You know, I like to keep. Yeah. Warm, but I was like, oh no, today I'm just gonna go full naked more. Oh, like, I do that. I do that like every two weeks. I shave because okay, I I haven't shaved my legs in a while, but like normally. I would shave every two weeks, but that's like, what right, I was gonna say. You know, like, after right the now, pandemic, it would be like yeah. every, week, every two weeks. Yeah. But now I'm like, right every now, month. there's not a reason to do that. <laughs> oh, you're an orange one, huh? It's orange. Oh, thank you. Dude, stop! I don't have a beard. That's a lot. It's not a lot. That's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. Oh, he Fuck you, Rihanna. I need to Bye. know what all of your fave Minecraft flowers Ooh. are. My dad's favorite drink is Captain Morgan. Okay, I I'm doing this for your dad, Mings. Oh, it I was his birthday yesterday. <gasps> Let's go. That's funny. Yeah. Well, all right. Do you, do you have your shot, Rihanna, or did she take it? No, I have one. Oh, sorry. <sighs> That's a rotten, that fucking 
<laughs> Everybody yeah. used to say that's the best vodka. You know the one? Oh god. I think it's a Polish vodka. Everyone knows the name of it. Chat, you're gonna have to know. It's like, I think it's from Poland. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, it's not Svetka. It's... I think we've broken it. <laughs> that reminds me too much of tequila, and I don't want to think about tequila anymore. <laughs> Are you sure? Rush, oh my god, I'm completely here. wrong. <laughs> it's not Polish, it's Russian. It's Russian standard. That's my bad, that's so offensive. Um, no, it's the Russian standard thingy. Hey, which vodka are you drinking? It's it's called Russian. Is it called Russian Standard? Random question. But Don't you usually you drink that one? Would you want no, I usually drink Smirnoff. Split. That amount of I can't it? believe I it's used the the glass. It's the one that's like. Oh god, I, I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, you know, I can't even feel the alcohol, but just the burn is making me feel drunk. Like I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm just wasted. Oh god, fuck me. Okay, that's a good question, our, uh, Tobias. Um, oh, made um, outfit stream. One second, guys. I'm gonna be deaf in real quick. I wanna explain something. Okay. Alright, Tobias, that's a good question, actually. I love... Okay, I love supporting my friends. And obviously, uh, Rihanna just... Uh, you know, Rihanna just started streaming and everything. So, it would be really cool if you would go support her. Um, you know, you are here all the time and you donate to me so much. So, uh... I 100% Are they did they did they hear me? Do you hear me? No, they don't hear me. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I would 100% uh be totally happy if you would go and support Rihanna. Um, because you know you're always here and you always support me and that's amazing and I'm super super thankful thankful, but uh if you want to go and support my friends and split the money between my two friends, then I would be super, super happy for that, you know? Um, so, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Hello. A few days I've lost weight because I've been dieting. Hello. But no, not after the wheelchair thing. People call it tab, but god damn. Oh, wheelchair thing. When I, when I broke my foot, like that month, I gained like, I think like 10 to 20. Well, pounds. I'm lucky that my face didn't show up, but I like you know when you can see it yourself. <clears throat> yeah. Um. But yeah. So, what were you saying about the maid thing, Rihanna? Oh yeah, I was saying uh, yeah, we're gonna do like a maid version of this when our maid outfits come. Uh, me and Nikki got matching. Do you wanna see our maid outfits? Do you wanna, do you wanna see which ones we ordered? I do wanna see it. Or at least which one I ordered. <clears throat> we have like she's got the pink version and I've got the blue version. I'll show you too. Look how cute! I don't know, Minx, if you've ever seen my phone case, but look how cute it is. Oh, are they fucking elephants? I love elephants. They're my favorite animals. Oh my god, they're my favorite animals. Oh my god! Oh my god, and they're my granny's favorite. That's fucking funny. Let's go. Side by side of the maid outfits. This is gonna. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. guys, you got you guys. Okay, you guys have to do a TikTok yeah. dance in it. One of those little TikTok dances. The, chat. Yeah, I, 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 I want to do one. I have one picked out that I want to do. You did Let's that one actually. Fucking go. But, but, but I'm making it a sub goal. Okay, that's smart. That's a five head fucking move. Yeah. So, chat, on, if you want to, if you want to see me do a TikTok dance. This sub goal, I currently have a sub goal, but next sub goal is gonna be that. In a maid outfit. <laughs> Wait, what's your sub goal right now? My, my sub goal right now is watching my first ever video, which is a German me reading creepypasta video. That's gonna be funny. Yeah. That's gonna be really funny. Yeah. Uh, where's. Hello, everyone. Where's Nikki's sweater from? I think she got it from a thrift store. Yeah, right. it's from Hi, a thrift yeah. store. I love you, SM. Oh, that is cute. I've been feeling like Not rage, just support. Thank you, friends. Okay, all right. We need to drink more alcohol and then and we can. Like I'm gonna chug this. Controlling my life. Have you ever felt <laughs> I just looked at it. I just looked at Nikki's face. <laughs> she really just did. Oh, <laughs> <can't> <laughs> You know when oh. I told Rihanna, hey Rihanna, I'm not gonna drink anymore. <laughs> and then I went on the drunk cast. Dude, my hair is purple. I've been actually like fucking off. Like, like, I drink a good, decent amount. But I've been off drink because I thought I was going to America this weekend. 
<laughs> so I'd be like, really good at losing weight I'm straight trying to work and off it. So then on Saturday when I had the drug cast, I literally, the worst hangover of my life Sunday. The worst that I'm like, I look at alcohol like it's poison now. I'm like, okay. Okay, I get it now. I get why people don't fucking drink. Yeah. But then I'll feel like I, once the shot comes in, I'll be like, yep, yeah, that's it, boys. We drink it forever. We never going back. Nah, I'm going to go back to not drinking at all anymore after lockdown. Um, mm. Just because I always did it. And right now, lockdown, you know, there's nothing to do. Well, no, okay, no, uh-uh. I'm not going to take that. Well, you're not going to take that, but I'm going to take house. that. When we go to Will's house and he fucking craps open that wine, you're gonna be straight in on that wine. <laughs> no, that after lockdown, yeah. I'm not. No, I I won't. I won't. B- big reason because is I want to lose weight, and alcohol has not helped me with losing weight. The fuck do you mean you want it? You've lost so much weight already. I haven't though. It it might look no. like that because the zoom camera is really fluttering. But it's definitely not the fucking zoom camera because I've seen your stream and I, I feel like I feel, I've, I've complimented you normally I know. but I'm at the point where you fucking lost so much weight in such a short amount of time that I was like ah what the fuck I you definitely the don't need to you don't you look I don't think you realize that fu- but I get that I feel like that's a thing but when you're on me, camera every day you don't see the change you. she's yeah. gonna say thank you and she's not gonna believe you Fucking dumb bitch. I know, I know, because I messaged her, but it's like, this is the camera, Nikki, the internet, not the internet, but the, being, being like, I feel like, you know, being an actor, we're not actors, but yeah. being an actor or in the area, a streamer, where you see yourself every day, you're not gonna know it's change, but others will know it's change, where it's like, like, I remember when I was, like, freaking out to Cute, she was like, I don't think you realize how much you've lost weight ever since, like, you've started working out again, I'm like, I literally haven't, so I get it. Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up saying that. I just started running again, and you know when you haven't run in a long time, and you're like, fuck me, I'm the mm. most unfit person I've ever met. Yeah. It was so bad. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so who, wait, Rihanna, this was your idea, right? The advice stream? Mm. Yeah, I think we should give people advice, but drunk. I think it. You know, you know what? At first, I was like, I was like, giving advice for me, but I think it'll be really good because I think we're all different characters in a way where it's like Nikki is like, you know, so fucking sweet and wholesome. Um, Rihanna's just a crackhead where I don't know what she's gonna say, and I'm just definitely not sweet and wholesome. Wait, Rihanna, didn't you say something today where it was like, why are you like this? Um, I don't. I don't remember what it was. I did say something, I think, and yeah. you were like, why did you say that? When yeah. did that come out of your mouth? Yeah. I don't know. I don't um, remember what it was. But Rihanna sometimes just says stuff that well, I don't I understand it, why she... Like, and I'll have to ask, I'll have to ask the question. Like, I, I'll, I need to know. Like, if I ever get, like, see, this is the thing, Mick, it's like, you've been spared from this for now. But if I ever, like, get, like, high on my own and I, like, text people and I'm like, I have so many questions... <laughs> she sort of just comes in my room high and asks me the the most random questions. And I'm like, yeah. Wait, Nikki, do you remember the time I messaged you and I was like, <laughs> I woke up this morning. <laughs> Rihanna sent me a message and I was like, I can't deal with this. You're making me feel high. What was it, Rihanna? Because I told you too. I was like, dude, I don't know what this means. That was when she explained what white claw lo- uh, tasted like. I think. <laughs> No, it was that, but oh, there was, yeah, that. yes, yeah, no, and I was like, I was like, I was just, I woke up and it was like, the energy she brought to that one sentence, like, I'm like, just waking up and it was like, she was, was just it, ready. Was it, was it when I asked, because this is one high question I remember, and I was like, okay, know. so put yourself in this position, right? You're a military wife, you have nothing to do. So you join a choir, you join a military wife choir, which are a thing. And while you're in this military wife choir, like, you get, like, signed at this label and that you, like, produce, like, these songs, right? And then you're listening to those songs back and they've cut you out. And then you realise that you're really bad, you're a really bad singer and they, they cut you out of every single song. What do you do? Your whole life is a lie at that point. Hold on now, you did that, I, I thought that this was what you said, was it this one? I've never ever okay. fucking it heard. Like, what? It definitely wasn't, because I feel like I, 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 I you know, military wife first time in a choir, like and I want got yeah. that, I love and then so much and she chef. sounds bad, so Remember she's cut out. And yeah. And what then, and then you, you listen back to the songs, and you're like, wow, I didn't, like, 
I re- like your whole life is a lie because you thought you were good at singing and this was your new career. But really, right, exactly. So that was a good example on why she's the crackhead. We got three amazing different <laughs> opinions here. So one of us has has to help you. One of us has to have a close well, personal. I, I want to know what I asked you though that made you go. <laughs> Man, you can't just you can't just casually. I don't even understand what that meant. Who's what is this story? I'm I'm still stuck up about the military wife being a bad choir singer. I don't well, know. Like sometimes me and Nikki will be sitting and we'll be watching stuff, and then like there was this one time we were sitting and watching stuff, and the cat went to go drink from its water bottle. And I was like, hey, Nikki, what if I just, like, I'm not going to do it, but what if I just, like, pushed its head down into the water and was, like, haha, pranked? <laughs> yeah! But, no, it's not, <laughs> it's not just... Okay, she, she doesn't just says, say that. Yeah, like, she doesn't just sit there and say that. She reminds me that she said that. She will... We will sit downstairs, and the cat will go to the water bowl, and she's like... I could push her head in right now so easily. And I just sit there and I'm like... But it's a funny thought, you know? (laughs) Dude, you're actually fucking... You're constantly on, like, some fucking weird vibes that I would love to have. I'm like, the energy that you bring, Rihanna, I want it. I want to bring that, but I can only bring them in small doses. But Rihanna's just living on a different planet. She's constantly like, let's fucking go, boy. Listen to this new theory I have. Yeah. Because I, I feel like, I don't know, I like to ask people them, but I feel like I annoy, like, sometimes I feel like I annoy people when I ask you, them things. No, you don't annoy me, don't worry. I just most of the time don't know what to answer. I've never seen a perfect <laughs> French, uh, explanation of the French by Brianna. She'll say something and I'm like, I want to talk to you, but I don't know what answer to this sentence that you have typed to me. Fine. And I'll be like, oh, that's, it. that's the thing. Like, one of the things, when it happened before, I said to Nikki, I was like, I was dying at Rihanna, but I'm like, what do I say to this? What type of, what, what vibes is this bitch on? Honestly, like, just being honest. When, like, cause like, if you're like, oh, I like you, aren't like asking me these questions. Like, you know, earlier you were like, oh, you know, the Attack on Titan people like you, they, they think you're really nice. Like, that was really nice to hear. Like, I just like it when people say nice things, you know? Oh, they, they love you so much. I I, I like to, I like talking to you, Minx, but I feel like I annoy you sometimes. <laughs> you don't annoy me. I'm not, I'm I'm you know what? I'm just terrible at replying. Same with fucking Nikki. That's the th- that's why I think me and Nikki got so close. We're so bad at replying because it's not like we d- we do have a lot of people where it's like, but the social battery and I'm like, you're the one person I check for, but then I'm like, that's why you're my favorite, Rihanna, because I'll miss some DMs from people and I'll forget to respond, but you will text me but after and I'm like, oh, this message again, and that's what I like about you. You just like the crackhead vibe. It's like you know, you think of a different sentence, and you bring it up, and I'm like, oh, I miss this. It's always like, I, I'm really glad I met you, Red. I really fucking am. I'm like, I remember in America, like we we never, we're definitely way closer than we are now. You like, you're definitely one of my closest friends now. I remember we yeah. talked for a good bit, but like, now we can't close. I want to watch what we do in the shadows with you. That's my energy. <laughs> I showed it to Nikki. Oh yeah, you did, you did. That's my energy. See, someone in chat gets it, they're saying my ADHD brain vibes with that. I think that's why I'm like this. Because yeah. my brain just doesn't settle on like one thing. <laughs> and we won't have you any other way. Exactly. Okay. Rihanna right. and I, oh my god. I woke up from a nap yesterday and I felt so anxious and bad. And I went into Rihanna's room and I was like, Rihanna, I feel very anxious because of this and that and that. And Rihanna was just like, all right, get in the car. We're going shopping. (laughs) Not really, but we just went to a trip because I felt anxious. And that was really sweet. Yeah, we went, we went, we went, we went to go get food. (laughs) Like really late. I was like, let's go. We're going to do this 24 thing. We're going. Okay, yeah. so cute. That is so cute. Yeah. yeah. It's from Amazon. Wait, we all need to get cups for D&D. We do. This my- <laughs> I keep forgetting. What's that? Hello? Oh, good. <laughs> what Sometimes the- I, I, like, drop things and he's like, Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> from the other room. <laughs> Yeah, no, all good. Um, anyway, should we start with the advice? Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm drinking. I'm a little bit tipsy, I guess. 
Um, I am a lightweight. I am already to. I had one shot. I didn't we even. Eat. I, I'm so glad that we're on this. I wasn't gonna say it. I'm definitely feeling that one shot and bit. I tried to chug my white I'm only halfway through, but when I was like, let's all drink as I can't. Like, okay, but the first sip of white claw is the best sip, and then it kind of goes downhill from there. That's true. Because That's when you first true. taste it, it's really refreshing, and then, yeah. I literally only drink it because it's like, you know, no sugar, no, like, 95 calories per thing. So it's like, oh. oh someone said, advice on toxic friends. Um, I would say, if they're not making you happy, just walk away. On what? Toxic friends. Yeah, 100%. Because I, I used to stand, I used to stay around. I used to stay, be that bitch who would stay around and be like... No, I'll change they'll, for you, and then better. I will, like, I will right. away better for you. <laughs> I think what's tough about that, though, is, like, I've had a toxic friend, but it, a lot of them can rope you back in. You will you will have... <laughs> Tobias, I saw what you said, and I will tell her. Thank you so much. Like, they're so toxic, where it's, like, it's easier to say walk away than it is. Oh, yeah. But you will realize yeah. in the long run, like, you'll, you'll find better friends over time that treat you better. So right now, like try walk away but if you can't just know in the future you'll you'll find someone who treats you how you want to be treated what i also can say about that is remember the person you want to be and a big way to be the person or be able to become the person you want to be is to surround yourself with the right people the right people for you and if you are surrounded by toxic people you might turn into a toxic person or you might never be able to express yourself or to become the person you want. And, you know, in that way, uh, yeah, just think about who you want to be. And if the friendship that you have right now is going to get you where you want to be. And True. if not, then it's, like, it's better. How do I, walk away? I do feel like, friends, because, like, you know, meeting Minx and Nikki, like, they're good born. people. Like, although I rag on Minx, it's because I love her. I call her a whore because I love her. <laughs> you know? <laughs> She's fun to rile up. Wait, I what like the fuck? I thought, I, I thought we didn't like each other. I yeah, thought, no, we didn't each other. I thought you were rivals. Where did she get her jumper? She got it from hell. Where did she get her jumper? The fuck did you just say to me? What the fuck did she say to me? I didn't even hear what no. you said, but I'm offended because of the <laughs> attitude in your tone. Ugh. <laughs> 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 um. Um, wait, so is there an advice list you're following, or do we just give advice? Oh, no, I'm just asking from chat. No so I would say, because your, your so chat's moved okay. faster than mine. So yeah, with you, you I'd say, look, so just anyone that highlights I or, I guess, to donates to you. Oh, that's good. Cool. Yeah, if you want to really but get it. Okay, someone said advice on coming out. Um, so I have a story about coming out because so my mum is the type of person that. She's. She's my mum. Um. She, Nikki knows. <laughs> uh, I love my mum, but like when I, when I was coming, when I was about to come out, she was like, she was very against like bisexual people. And she was like, she didn't really understand, because she didn't understand it. Like she just didn't understand like being bi. She was like, I get being gay and I get being straight, but like isn't being bi like really greedy? Like, you know, you can't have more than one. You know, you can't I have a family that thinks the exact um, same thing. Yeah. And like, there's one thing that she said to me and like, she's always said, oh, you know, that was a joke. That was a joke. But it's like always stuck with me. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna say it on stream, but it, it wasn't very nice. Um, but I would honestly say that I'm happier now, like, well, with everyone, like, knowing, you know, by, you know, that I am bi, than I was, you know, being scared of coming out. Because, like, my mum loves me now, and she, like, she accepts me, and she, you know, she's, she's more understanding now. But I think people just don't really understand a lot of the time. Like, a lot of old people just don't understand. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I feel like, especially in Ireland, you know, because it's, it's very... And uh, not all Christians, I made a mistake earlier saying, fuck Christians. That was more of a joke. I'm just always against them because I was Advice raised in a Catholic school. Coming on! But uh, that's why I just say Christians. But they're, they're obviously smart. I... This... My... The advice I'll give you is not advice. It's more what I did. Because this is going to, honestly, might be as bad. Because I get to express yourself. Say it straight away. But if you are in a toxic household that doesn't accept it or will hurt you in it this sounds horrible but the, the the internet can be your savior have relationships 
online with people like that. I just don't want people to endanger themselves. And like, because I feel like everyone's like, yes, come out, be proud. But people forget there are toxic households where they will yeah. get abused from that. They will get kicked out. Even if they're young, even if they're young, they will get kicked out. So when you hear advice, like just come out, you make sure you understand your surrounding and your household. You can, the internet, I feel like the internet is a safe zone. You can be whoever you want. Express yourself then. And then when you're old, when you have, can do what you want. Think of it in the way like college. College is coming. I know it's a few years off, but you're, hide yourself to the family if they're being toxic. Fuck those guys. You know, that's grand. You can express yourself on the internet. So it's like, I, I didn't, my family wasn't like that, but it was more so my friends and everything that I didn't even realize my sexuality until I was like fucking 21. So it's totally up to you when to come out but don't feel pressure because everyone's like just do it be yourself it'll yeah. make you happy you need to remember base it on your environment but once you have your own environment once you're old to be safe express yourself any way you fucking want yeah because someone asked like how do i ask my friend to prom but i'm a lesbian and i can't take a girl to prom like if your family if you think your family's like toxic and that would be a bad thing for you i would just take your friend to prom like and say it's as a friend yeah exactly yes yeah. even something like that even though you're not being like you can't be kiss her or do that it's like you still get to spend time with her and you're not gonna be like feel you know shit yeah. around it but your it's parents like are gonna go to prom with you like you can do what you want while you're at prom but like you can just be like yeah mm. i'm just going with a friend you don't have to be honest to anyone you don't have to be honest with everyone until you're ready in a comfortable setting to be honest with everyone in your life um did you say your thing Nikki? well uh for me it has always been um for me and coming out it has always been a thing because my mom uh as much as she like my mom never really cared because she was always my mom always joked about oh like i wish i liked women because men suck so for me it was like for me it was always um i never put a label on my sexuality and i still don't really do but when people ask me i guess i have to like i feel like I, on the internet now i feel like i have to give them an answer but i am always like you have all the time you need to figure out who you are if it, that is not the person that you think you are that is completely fine you can change change it and explore it and figure it out you have all the time and the thing with me was I never felt the need to come out because for me it was always I like whoever I like and if you're not okay with that get out of my life but I am also in a situation I moved out of my parents apartment with 17 so I didn't have to deal with my parents I moved a lot around I've met so many people so I had the the, the, the I guess I've advantage to choose my friends from different places and if i didn't like them i could just say goodbye because i will need meet the next people and i will find new friends so for me it was always a thing of if you don't like who i am well okay but i also never really came came out because for me it was always just i like whoever i like so yeah yeah i never came like came out i never went uh <clears throat> somewhere and said hey this is who I am, and it might not be the norm, but if you, you know, I would like to, you to accept it. I was always like, yeah, she's cute. I like her. I have a crush on her. And people were like, oh, okay, I guess. And if they weren't, then I was like, okay, I mean, if you don't respect my decision, then I don't need you in my life. So, that yeah. is actually really good advice. You know, I, I kind of agree with that. Like, I don't like, I not necessarily the same thing, but it's like, I don't like labels on myself. It's like, it doesn't matter what I am. It's like, it's all about liking um me and rihanna did pick the advice from our stream now so i think that's what my mom said if we go in a circle where uh -huh. next mm -hmm. nikki you pick someone from your chat good idea okay um, because i was watching your stream before minx like before i started and you were saying about <clears throat> like you know you have to like a specific girl and like i know that you like me minx like okay um wait hold on is it bad that i already need to pee already yeah don't break the seal you'll need to pee like forever no, I need a visa. <laughs> I drank this so much water. It's fine. Right. Yeah, okay, I guess. I guess you can go pee. Oh. I didn't hear her either. Oh, I didn't hear her either. That was weird. <clears throat> Alright, should I just... 
start my advice? Yeah, you pick pick someone. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, someone donated to me someone. earlier. That was the first one because I I already got a few. Uh, advice on how to be happy. Um, I'd say like take don't have such a huge expectation on being happy because I feel like a bit long if you like oh I'm not happy and there's something wrong with me like it makes you sadder. Mm -hmm. I would say just like take every day. Like, as it comes, and try and do things that you love doing. Like, try to do something new, like, every day. Like, you know, if you're struggling, like, when I have depression, like, sometimes I struggle to, like, uh, sometimes I struggle to, like, shower or, like, okay, eat properly. Like, I would say just, like, every day, just, like, attempt to, you know, maybe maybe shower or, like, you know, attempt to play a game with your friends, you know? But don't, don't be like, I have to be happy right now because everyone's expecting it, because it's just not gonna help you announce just the individual yeah it's, about you making... uh i mean i totally agree with you don't have to be happy for other people oh wait talking about that i'm sorry but that is like a thing that just came to my mind that i want to rant about rihanna do you know these yeah. most of the time boys who are like <sighs> Be happy for me. Like, do it for oh, me. Yeah, for be me. happy for, for me. me. And it's like, I don't have to do anything for you. I have to be happy for myself. Okay? Don't be happy for, for anyone else. Be happy for yourself. Um, what personally... This is very personal, though. What personally helped me is finding out what made me happy and for me personally it's helping people that's why i stream on twitch that's why i want to become a psychiatrist it makes me happy to help people and uh whenever i wake up on a bad day i will still like tell like i will still allow myself to have a bad day because we're all human we all have bad days and that is completely fine um i don't know what i can tell you about um, I guess just uh, happiness in the long run is figure out who you want to be. What is the most perfect self that you can be? Remember that nothing is perfect and you can never be perfect, but work towards the perfection that you want to achieve. It gives you a purpose. It will always change because you change as a person. So if, you know, as you grow, you're uh, thoughts of how to be perfect or what perfect for you is changes which gives you a purpose to keep on going and working towards it but also remember you will never ever achieve perfection because perfection is not a thing perfection is not a thing there's no such thing as perfection there's not a single thing on this world that is perfect and you need to remember that that's what Except I can tell for you Ah. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. That kind of did throw his points aside. But I completely like agree on the same thing. Was it like what will make me happy or yeah, like give tips on me? how to be happy? I think the thing is you will this oh god, I almost just said you will never be happy. But I think <laughs> no, I No, it's true. It's true. It we is, we it are is. never we're never Actually, going to be completely happy. If you look at someone that you so think has everything you want, details. there's something else that it might yeah, I might look at someone and I'm like, they've everything I want, but they will want something else. That even if you hit goals that you think will make you happy, is someone who has hit the goals that I thought, this is my dream, this is everything I want. There will always be something new. So I think the important thing is to live in the moment. Surround yourself with what makes you happy. Even if it sucks. Even if you're sad, 20 hours of the fucking day, depression fucking sucks. Surround yourself with people that will make you happy. Find a way, even motivation. Like, even, like, it, it's hard. That question is hard. I don't even know. It's a hard question. question. Yeah. It's because I've always been, like... I've always been like, cause like even Nikki's like, I've always been like, oh, I love like Minx. Minx is so cool. Like I'd love to have a chat that like shit swears at me and is like, I don't know, Minx. Minx is doing good, and then Minx is like, uh, I'm also sad. Yeah, no, everyone is sad, and that is the reason why this is a hard question because no one is completely happy. If like like Minx said, if you think someone has everything, there's something that they that is that they are not okay with in their life because we all have different baggages we all grew up differently we all have to face different challenges 
if you think, oh, I want to become a big Twitch streamer, make my money by streaming with Twitch, remember, there's always these people who will sexualize you and who will stalk you and who will say horrible things about you. With everything good comes something bad. But that is what makes life interesting. If everything was good, nothing would be good because it would be That's boring actually the and just... Best yeah. I'm taking that advice. Oh my god, if that's true, if everything was good, you just get bored. Yeah. There needs to be bad to level out the good. Oh my god. 100%. Oh my god, that should be a quote. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like if I was a billionaire and everything was good, I wouldn't be bored. <laughs> no, there would still be things that would bother you. Like mm -hmm. I like I am I am so happy with being a Twitch streamer. But in my personal life, behind me, I still have so many things. You can be a billionaire, but you can st struggle with your weight and be unhappy with your weight. You know? Mm -hmm. You can be a billionaire and your family could be horrible to you. And You, you would can be a billionaire and it, uh, all your friends know you're a billionaire and want to be your friend because you're a billionaire. And you're going to question, oh, who wants me for this and that? There's always going to be issues with what you think true happiness is. There's always going to be some fault in it. Exactly. So, you know, and that is the thing. No one is truly happy. They're, like, of course, we are happy. Like, it, overall, if someone asks me, are you happy? I say, yeah, you know, I'm in, a, I, I'm in a place in my life where I don't have to worry about money as much as I used to. I can afford meals, which makes me happy because I didn't have that before and I was struggling with that. So now I have that and I'm happy. But I still have other issues that don't make me happy. If someone asks me, are you happy with your family situation right now? I say, no, I'm struggling. You know, it always depends depends on in what perspective you look at your life and it's just it is important Hi, to give yourself Hope the time you, you need and to be sad sometimes in I feel like especially like I feel like we um, as really women excited, and as people like on the internet come. and as people in public Soon life we often like mask our sadness Sending and we help. often like I can be I can cry I can cry for hours and then I realize oh I have a stream in an hour I put on makeup I put on my act and I'm hi guys how are you let's have a fun stream and obviously I, I talk to my chat and I tell them hey I've had a rough day but not always you know and you need to remember like I feel like we often just we often swallow our sadness which is good sometimes but you need to let it out you or then when you open up and it's like, but you're in a place that like you're the luckiest person ever. You can work from home. You don't have to worry about a job. You're sitting here with everything you wanted. It's like, and that's what makes it so exactly. much tougher. Exactly. Exactly. Open up too. It's like, if you're looking at like us right now and you're like, oh my God, that's my <laughs> dream job. They have everything I want. You need to remember there's always baggage behind everything. I mean, I'm not like... I, I, my, my, I feel like right now I'm really good in life, but you know, I, I know Nikki that... I won't even get into, but I'm like, I wish you, f I, it, it sucks. It, it does fucking suck. And it's like, if you think like it's happiness, no one will ever find true happiness, but you can be very happy in the moment. And that's important. Exactly. Um, God, that was a really fucking tough one. Though. I'm <laughs> like, I keep racking my brain for the right answer, but there really is no. No, there is like for all the advice that we're giving, we're obviously telling you our experience and what we do we are not perfect like i said nothing is perfect our advice might not like help you but maybe there are some things that you can pick up on that you think hey i you know that's that's something that i can try mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyways rihanna you're next am i was it not English? or are you, no, next you next? next no i think it's rihanna. no yeah. not really, yeah. oh god i got a bit of a that one this one stresses me out um, Wait, you don't have to just ask, stresses yourself out. With my crazy no, but it stresses me out because it's like kind of like if you don't know how to answer, I feel like I need to answer I this one because well it's bad. <laughs> like, um, advice and attention from older men you don't know. I'm 13 and get a lot of it, and it makes me increasingly anxious and comfortable. Like, who, who, for starters, like, where, like, where is this happening? If this is happening online, block these people, please. Please block them. Um, if it's happening in person, you need to tell someone about it because you're 13. 
Yeah, it's um, very good that you noticed well. that. It's very good yeah, that you noticed that, though. That's it's, what it's, I was told to say. It's so yeah. good that you were... I remember... Yeah, you know, when, like 12, exactly. I'd be like, hey, what's up? Oh, you like me? I'll get attention. Yeah, right. Oh, you're an older man and you yeah. like me? Hey! And it's like, it's <laughs> not like, okay. Yeah, I'll be kicking like a fucking... Nice. Like, you know, I don't know. Nice. Chat doesn't yeah. even know what yeah. kick is. Yeah. But I'd be like, then give me attention as a loner. I'd be like, yeah. oh my god, this is my future husband for the rest of my life. Like, the fact that you realize that, you're already a step ahead congratulations it's say exactly what rihanna said if it's online block and let people know when you're yeah. like, like if there's any but then if it's in person fucking tell someone tell someone as soon as possible and if it's something where yeah. you're afraid like, that they're gonna judge you find someone you feel comfortable sharing it with definitely because society tells you tells like women especially that they should just be like you should just be nice to people giving you like attention and you have to just be like oh thank you you know like smile no if someone's making you uncomfortable you tell them you you tell them you're making me uncomfortable step the fuck away from me like you don't have to be polite to people I, that are being making you uncomfortable that's the thing like i personally as a 13 year old i was terrified of all like i i like I, it's 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 easy to say tell them that you that they make you uncomfortable i know it's hard to tell people that they make you uncomfortable if you are a 13 year old and you talk to people a lot older than you that is not okay and i know i know that like we all know that from experience because i know as a person that grew up on out grew up on the internet it's a like it's way too normalized mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Discord is the worst thing on this planet, and if you are 13, you are one, not allowed on Discord, and two, should not be on Discord. There is so much danger that you can put yourself into, and I know for a fact that there's people out there that will threaten you uh, when you threaten them to block them. Just block them. Don't even tell them that you will block them, because these people know how, how to manipulate people. These people do that for hours to other people true, uh, too. So be, please be safe. That's why I always say, if you are a minor, don't tell your age on the internet. Say you're a minor, and if they are not, tell them, hey, I don't want to talk to you. You are, I am a minor, and you are not, and it is not okay. Don't we need tell to your age on like the that. internet. Not your age, because I'll be like, I'll be like talking, like it'll come up, and chat will just start spamming their ages. Yeah, and my mods will be like, yeah. stop, don't. stop, 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 out, and I'm yeah. like, don't do it. But they don't stop. It's like my that's actually really good advice. If they, people are saying their ages, all you need to say is I'm a minor. They don't yeah. need to know they your don't. age if you are a minor. They don't doesn't fucking matter to anyone. Just say I'm a minor, and that's fucking enough. Otherwise, like, that's uh, that's what terrifies me. Like, ch I feel like I know I can seem like a bitch when I'm like, S shut the fuck up saying your age, but it's because it happens so often. And it's dangerous. So you are putting yourself on the in internet. danger. There's so many disgusting people that it's more so if, I, if we ever yell at you for sharing your age, it's not because we're, we're like, invali like invalidating you sharing information. It's because we're concerned about you because, you yeah. know, I'm sure we were young on the internet. We know how fucking bad it is. We're older on the internet. We know how fucking bad it is. Just, you just need to be fucking Because you don't realize there are actually some... There are some sick fucks out there who will literally go for you because you're a certain age. Like, that's yeah. their thing. It's and disgusting. They need help. But they will you manipulate you. They yeah. will reel so you in by being nice. Because, yeah, exactly. They have the experience of talking to people like older than you. They know what to do to talk to you. They will reel you in. They will be nice to you. They will give you the attention that you need because you are an adolescent. I, I was an adolescent. Getting attention from older men, that was amazing. But it's not. It's not. It is dangerous and it is. it will. it can destroy your life. So don't. Just don't. Don't. Don't talk to especially older men, but women obviously too. Don't talk to to people above, like, you know, to older people when you were a minor, because these they know. They will manipulate you. They will tell you. when when Once you tell them you feel uncomfortable, they will threaten you. I know that. I've been there, and it is not cool. So, please, 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 for the love of God, and of all of the three of us, be careful on the internet, especially if you are young. It, it it's so dangerous the internet is a very dangerous place and it don't is. don't yeah. tell your age if you're a minor tell them you're a minor that's all they need to know that is all they need to know like Rambu does that he just goes i'm a minor yeah. and then that's it the conversation's over yeah and that's what it should be that's how it should be he's a minor and that's you know don't be weird just don't be weird but people are weird and that's the problem 
I feel like I'm giving shit. I feel like Nikki's giving me advice. I'll be sitting here like, uh -huh, tell me more. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm the one that has to give advice too. God fucking damn. But no, literally, I, there's nothing exactly what Nikki said. That's all else I have to fucking say on it too. Exactly what Nikki said. All right, who is next? Minx. Okay. Um, let me see. I saw someone. Someone, um, someone said my sister uh, bought an outfit and she likes it, but it's out there. Can you give confidence advice? Well, she likes the outfit. Yeah. So she likes and it, she but it's it. like out there, and she doesn't feel comfortable wearing it in public. So can you give confidence advice on that? My advice is going to... See, it's different now for me. I feel like my advice will go in one ear at the out because I wore what I wanted to and it was like shunned down. It was like, ugh. And then when I started fitting into society, that's when I started like making friends. But now I've reverted back. And even though a lot of people are like very judgy, I have the real ones by me. And it took me years to learn. So I understand your sister's young. And she's probably not going to fucking even listen to this. But because I didn't, I had this advice too. And I was like, just live your best life. But I was like, no, I'm in school. People are making fun of me. And then I faked it and I made friends. But I wasn't happy with those friends. I wasn't myself. I wasn't comfortable. I was, I had friends, but they weren't my friends. They always made me like, it was always, Ugh. but now I'm, I'm just online. So I feel safe so I can do it. And from that, even though... A lot of people, I know, like, I'm not going to call people out, but people online that are influenced do still make fun of me in that sense. But I'm like, hey, oh, fuck you. Now I have the friends that care about me and love me. And I understand I'm in a safer environment where, you know, it's not school. It's not that, that jungle. But you will realize being yourself will find you. It, it will lead you down. But it sounds so stereotypical and cringe. But it's like, just it be is. yourself. Don't care what people think. Yeah. Growing no, I feel like up, wearing what you want oh, yeah, yeah. is much better. Like, yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Just like, if you if you feel happy in it, mm. fuck everyone else. In it, Bev. You got something to say? Nikki, you, you were gone, Nikki. Your turn. You didn't give yeah, it a life yeah. yet. Yeah, so. <laughs> Growing up, I was a scene kid. I grew up as a scene kid. People <laughs> always made fun of me, but you know what? You know what? I didn't care. Now I do. So I understand. I understand how it feels like now to have, you know, to be insecure about what you wear. But guys and girls and everything in between, you know these people bad bitches that go out and they wear whatever they want and they own it and these people these are the people that we look up to every time i see someone like that on social media or something i'm like yes you own it you own it. you look amazing because you know you look amazing and you know what that's what the i think that's what what are the people that we should strive to be we should be able to go out and wear that outfit and you know what if the people don't like it you're not wearing it for the people like you are not wearing this outfit for the people you're wearing it for yourself you're wearing it for yourself and you look amazing in it and you know you look amazing in it because it's an amazing outfit so you know what fuck all those people who say who, who laugh at you who point fingers at you you know what they don't know they are sad with themselves and insecure with themselves because they are not like they would never wear what they would want to wear because it's not accepted in society wear whatever you want be that person you want to be that's what i you know that's what i will preach the entire evening be that person you want to be. And we all want to be that confident person that goes out and wears whatever they want and what they feel comfortable in. That <sighs> Nikki the fucking inspirer. I'm like, where was where were you when I was a kid? Where were you when I needed you, Nikki? I had to learn. Oh I was God. doing I was having these experiences. Have this. Where were you? Oh god, okay. Oh god. Um I think we should take a shot. 
or at least a long chug. All right, okay. Let's. Uh, I I did see a message saying where I thought this was drunk advice. So let's. How about this? We'll drink and then. Uh, actually, okay. Wait. Let's have a vote. Should we take a shot in ten minutes or now? Now, and then in ten okay. minutes. Okay, I got. I'm gonna go get my drink. Right Rihanna just wants to get us drunk. <laughs> we, we, I, I, no, okay. We could break up the the, the advice giving tension with, crap. like, I don't know. Minx, you got any? You got any awkward, awkward questions left over from the podcast? I always have ask? awkward questions. All right, let yeah, me. We could, we could do that. <laughs> right, you get your shot. Are you gonna bring me a shot? Oh wait, should I shot this? You can. I wish the fireball's probably gonna be better for you. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna. I. Make that I. I. I <laughs> chat. You need to. No, I don't want to. I don't want to tell the story to my chat. I can tell the story to Minx's chat, but not my chat. No, sorry, chat. I won't I tell you. Minx's chat. Like Minx's I chat. Yeah. You swear at her. I I would love a chat that is fifty percent Nikki and fifty percent Minx, and just I can just swear at and they swear at me. Chat, don't swear don't. at me. I I have my, me. you hurt my feelings. Fight me. <laughs> tell us. Okay. Okay. I'll, should I tell chat? Should I tell chat about the night? The night where I drank tequila for the first time. Minx was there. Sophie was there. Rihanna was there. We all know. Chad. I drank like I. I am not a drinker. I am the biggest lightweight that you will ever meet because I never drank alcohol ever. So. <laughs> I had tequila for the first time, and I thought it was so cool to take a shot, lick the salt, bite in the lime, and I thought that was so cool, and I just kept drinking shots, and we were talking, like we were, you know, we just had our girl talks, where we'd just rant about boys, rant about life, just, you know, having girl talk, getting drunk. Um, it has come to the... <laughs> It came to a point where I drunk called someone and it was very embarrassing because I woke up the next morning, makeup gone, which means I have cried. <laughs> I woke up the next morning, I look around and I see, I see an empty tequila bottle chat. <laughs> I, I like almost empty. Wait, that's that this much birthday? left. That was my birthday. That was your right? birthday. Yeah, yeah, you that's like, like, um, I, I, go, I feel like I drank a lot, and that was a lot of tequila. I go to Nikki, Rihanna's I room. Like, Nikki like got upset, and then because when Nikki gets upset, like it makes me upset. So we just ended up crying on the stairs. And <laughs> we were just like, sitting on the staircase crying. crying. <laughs> no, I, you know what? No, sorry, Nikki. You never saw. I never told you this because, but now that you're open about it. I remember sitting <laughs> in Discord, right, and so and Sophie's with me, and we just hear, <laughs> and we're like, "Oh my god, is she?" No, she's. Like, we're like, "Oh my god, is she okay?" And like, it's just silence, and we hear nothing, and then it's like, <laughs> like a, a distant cry where you're not close, but there's just crying, wailing in the background, and and we're both like, we're like, we, me and like. Well, I was drunk at the time too, but Sophie was like only tipsy. And I'm like, I'm so tired, I want to sleep, but I don't want to leave her, is she good? And then it's like, we just sit there and call for a few minutes, and then we hear, <laughs> and, and then we hear, we go, Nikki, 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 shh. And then it's, <laughs> and then Rihanna comes back and she's like, no, she's fine. She's just on the stairs. And I'm like, oh God, okay, I'm so tired, I need to sleep. Can you wish her the best? And then, and then it was like, I was like worried, but at the same time, I'm like, now I look like it was the funniest thing. Cause it felt like a little sitcom. And then the next day, I'm like, please be okay. And then I wake up to a message from Nikki saying, sorry, I got too drunk last <laughs> night. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, though. That was an experience that I had to make, you know? I will look back at that a few years later, and I'll be like, yeah, you know, I did drunk call someone, and I now know what I said, but back then I woke, I woke up, I didn't know what I said. And I could have said, I, because we were talking about it earlier, I could have said the worst things, chat. I could have... I, I don't even know what I could have said. So, uh, you know, it's it's okay. It's it's embarrassing as hell. I am super embarrassed about it, and I will not do it again. I will be more careful. But it's an experience that I had to make to know I mean, my see, limits. I mean, at least you learn. Yeah. I'm the type of person that's like, yeah, that was embarrassing. Let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Park, had a good time. 
Should I take the shot? Oh yeah, oh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers to embarrassing <laughs> moments when drunk. I want to drink, so I'm gonna take shots along with you guys. I feel like I've learned my lesson. I feel like once you do too many times, you're just like, even when I'm drunk, sober me will just be like, punch my so drunk face and be like, no. No. Stand back. Just don't do that right now. It'll be bad. You'll regret it. But then sometimes your girl do begin black out and be sending messages she regret in the morning. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, that was I like I'm I'm glad you brought like stuff. So it's so funny to think of now. At the time I was worried, but I'm like, now that I know why you were crying over a fucking pathetic boy, <laughs> now it's funny. At the time it sounded like murder. I was like, oh no, what have we unleashed? Why did she drink tequila? We all here sipping like why she got a fucking tequila, man. Tequila's the death note. You might as well be just writing your sins and everything you want in. And it was a whole bottle. She, she drank, like, almost a whole bottle. Yeah. So it's like, now I can laugh at it. Now that I know it's over. It's over a boy. Time. I bowed a, I Guys, I bowled my eyes out over a boy. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I want to I wanna almost fucking show We hate men. That'll upset someone. Yeah. We love and hate men. See? Yeah. We hate Like, everyone. you know. I we hate still... immature men that only care about themselves. Mm. There you go. There's a little, little asterisk thingy. Star. <clears throat> Who was she crying about? You won't know him. <laughs> it was me. No. Yeah. <laughs> I just punched her in the face, you know? <laughs> oh, God. I think, didn't I say that to you once? I was like, can you imagine if I punched Nikki in the face? Like, the internet would hate me. Can you imagine if I punched Nikki in the face? <laughs> I, I, th won't. I, I, I won't even imagine you, never. I'd be like, thank you, that was hot. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's happened to her while she's lived with me. This is my fault. <laughs> she never used to say this. Wait, okay, another. I ask my chat every day whenever some. I'm like, another sugar crash meme chat right there when she said that, and then the eyes of me and Rihanna. One of you fuckheads have to do that quick. Do you guys know that meme? Where it's like, that's my favorite meme so far in 2021. I'm addicted to it. Um, so it's like, it, it either goes like someone's either shocked. Or someone's like, um, uh, scared, but it's like, something will happen, and then their eyes will go wide, or some weird will happen, and they'll zoom in on their face and start going, ah, I'm on it. It's a fucking good meme. Yes, let's make that. Wait, who's, who's? That makes me feel trapped, and so the friendship doesn't grow. Oh, my We're notifications are so far behind. I might have to make a separate one for... Yeah. I like your name, Amarana. Do you? Yeah, I was like, I was like... Sh not shocked, but because it fits it. Like, it doesn't sound different from Rihanna. I feel like a duo yeah. were so fucking hard to do because people, you know, will always call your old name, but it works with you perfectly. Because you know, you like, you. when I was in secondary school, Will used to call me Rana in that exact tone. Um, so that's where it comes from. <laughs> Run now. Run now. <laughs> oh, it's our chat star? Alright, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's your turn. Pick one. Uh, Wait, are we on the break for- Ugh. Are we on the break from it? I sound like a puffer fish. <laughs> I <laughs> <You're too> <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to listen to it now. Yeah, that works. You know, um, actually, I have a bone to pick with you, Minx. Um, oh, no. You know the fucking- a bit differently the fucking bop that's in my head and it's been in my head for two whole days and it's your fault <laughs> wait i want the puffer fish noise that's a good song that's a good song oh here we go wait <laughs> i love this puffer fish oh god that's right oh i was gonna say what are you playing a song or something no i'm gonna put him in Put him in the the Discord. <laughs> All right, let me see this. Oh, this is we know oh, the puffer fish. Oh God, ew! I hate yep. this dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So someone said, mm. "Oh, there's a few good ones here. I'm trying to pick a good one." 
Um, do, 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 do. Uh, advice on getting motivated. I will just start off by saying I've always found motivation tough in my life. I've, but I've been lucky where, not lucky, it's literally the opposite of lucky, where my family was struggling. So I had to get motivated to, you know, give back because, <clears throat> so my, my sisters have like issues, mental health issues where they can't work. So it's like, it, I felt like I always had to be working to do something, which is why I always did that thing where it's like, oh yeah, no, I can't stream, I need work. Where I'm lucky in that sense, where I had to be motivated, that even when I have free time, I need to be motivated. So I don't really think I can give an answer except for saying, I, I don't know how to do it. I, I, I don't know this answer. I just, I've always had to be motivated as a kid, you know, to, to have family. So I think... Rihanna and Nikki might have better advice for this one. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm. I feel like I have to sort of just force myself to do do stuff. You know, motivation. It depends. What, it depends what, what motivation for what though. Wait, like, actually, actually like... no. I do have a good one for this. So my old motivation was travel. Hi, I remember when, like, I was working full time because I was always addicted to the internet. My thing would be like, okay, work six months, work your ass off. You can afford TwitchCon 2018. You can make it to that. You can meet all your online friends. So I think find something that makes you happy and get motivated towards that. Oh, hold on. There's actually some talking right now, so I can hear myself. Oh god. Oh. You okay? There's just a really loud thing in my ear right now, so I'm just waiting for it to be okay. done. Um, oh, okay. I think that, uh, uh, that's actually a really good one to talk about. Uh, mods for my next turn remind me of that eating thing one. Um, but no, with motivation, I think if you're really down, find something that will make you happy and constantly work towards that. Like, consistently. Like, my thing was my online friends. But this was, you know, before it was a streamer. So it was cringe to just not be outside before the pandemic and be with them. But it was like, I'm happy with them. So, um, I feel like I'm ranting now because that shot was hitting me. But, um, I'm definitely, like, all over the fucking place. I'm trying to make a point, but I'm struggling. But, yeah, it's more like TwitchCon events. Saving up. Pushing myself to work and grind where I can support my family and also afford to fly out to the events is what motivated me. So find something you love and work towards that. It can be someone. It can be someone you want to be better. Like, you want to be better for them. It can be a, your dream job. It can be... Nothing's impossible in this fucking world. Nothing's impossible. Even if you think it is right now because you're in a little... You know, depression. Actually, hole where it's impossible for humans else. to sprout wings and fly, so don't say nothing's impossible. Well, actually, dinosaurs existed, and now they don't, and they came from reptiles. They transformed, so maybe years from now, when we're all dead, they can. So don't say nothing's impossible, Rihanna. Okay, sprout wings and fly. I can't because I'm still. It's in, impossible. You know what? Because it's you impossible. What? In in like nine thousand and million years from now. You'll be Humans dead. will be flying, and they'll be like, "Ha! Huh, remember when those fuckers couldn't fly?" And they'll be stomping on your grave, laughing at you because no, you because I'm up. already 419 years old, and I haven't died yet. I'm so over yeah. you being 419 years old. I still don't fully understand it, and I'm over it. Why don't you just turn 20 already? All right, does anyone else have better advice? <laughs> Why did you just say turn 20? Or do do you want to say anything? Do you want to say <laughs> something? I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have Everybody something against 19 year olds, Mix? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I, can, <laughs> I can definitely agree with um, the I have to stay motivated part. Because, um, l like I always say on stream, uh, before I started streaming, I used to struggle with money. I had to borrow money from people to be able to afford my rent. I ate rice and soy sauce as a like as one meal because i couldn't afford more for half a year every day because i couldn't afford more so for me it's like i know where i came from and i know where i don't want to go back to so i have to 
stay working, stay motivated, do all these things. But obviously not everyone has that. And what helped me is a schedule. Yeah. I, I, have, one of those I have a schedule and I write every because it can be very overwhelming when you sit down at the end of the week and you're like okay I have to do so much next week and I don't know where to start write it down schedule it say okay Monday I'm gonna do this and that and and the other thing and then Tuesday I'm gonna do the next th thing write it down in the schedule wake up in the morning the first thing i do is i look at my schedule what do i have to do today okay i don't have a stream until earlier in the in the night cool i can chill for a bit i have a call with my agent okay i'm gonna call him then and then cool it's way like i i feel like i find very like i find it a lot easier to stay motivated and to have a clearer head headspace when I have everything sorted and obviously this week has been a mess my schedule has been empty even though I have so much to do and that is because not every week will be good and that is again we are human we're not perfect and we will have bad weeks and good weeks and bad days and good days but you know overall the schedule has helped me a lot not every week but most of the time it helps me I think what's important in that one is, I'll agree with that, is I'm definitely not as organized as you where I have a pen and a pencil in my house that I can write down, but I'll have a notepad in my thing where it's like the smallest thing where Things can't write. Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday, need bleach for toilet. Wednesday, yeah. and I'm like, I ha like, even if it's spread out your tasks hey, over the week where every day you have to do something, where I'm, I, I thought that was a me thing. I feel no, like I, also, I realized I my TikTok, I'm not too. unique anymore, but I'll have a thing where it's like Wednesday, Get bleach for a toilet, get wipes, uh, chew, or Monday, get all your food for the week, organize it in the fridge. It can be the smallest of things, but you will feel so satisfied. Even just leaving your bed. I know some people will be running marathons and all this, but you don't compare yourself to other people. You leave your house to, to get something for... That was the worst thing I realized, Sarion, get bleach. I see people joking about it, but it was literally for the toilet because Kiara blocked it with her fucking shit. So I have to wash it every day now because it still comes off to the top. So no, that that, that definitely was not good for this. I did, I did. And it's still like he said he fixed it and it was good for a week. But now it's just always scuffed. Um, but it's like even the smallest things like organize, like organize your room in a way you want to. Organize, yeah, your room so organized. It can be so beautiful. You know what, Rihanna? Your room isn't so good yourself. I never said it was. Though. So, you said you were organized. I didn't. I said I like to be or I like to organize colors. Okay, there's a difference. Look, my room is dark and grey. I have my purple room, all my purple stuff there. I have my kitchen <laughs> or I have my orange room upstairs that's all orange oh, stuff. The clown room? Oh, no, that's that's the room that I don't touch. To me on a the spare level. room is the orange room. But it can be it can be small things that will keep you motivated yeah definitely and you know i like you need to remember yeah like yeah it is good to stay motivated but you will have bad days i have days where i cannot get out of bed i have i literally have days where i lay in sure, bed I just throw coffee all at her. day exactly rihanna comes into my room in the morning and gives me coffee and i'm like thank you and i go back to sleep i have my coffee i go back to sleep because i just can't be bothered with life right now and that is okay you need those days you need the days to recharge don't like it is so easy in today's society i'd say to burn yourself out because you grow up with the idea of i have to constantly work i have to constantly think about my next move what do i do next i need money because we don't get money we can't afford housing because we don't get enough money our salaries are at an all-time low for what we have to pay like living alone is expensive as hell so we constantly think about i need work i need to work i need to earn money i need to do this and i need to do that i need to study to get a good job of course you do but having that on your mind constantly burns you out so quickly that you can you don't even have to do anything but if you think about these things constantly you will burn yourself out you can procrastinate all day and you will burn yourself out so remember that you need the days to recharge but um it helps a lot with having a clear schedule and knowing what to do where you can you know when you can take days off to just recharge and do what you need to do 
I, yeah, no, I completely agree. Even even if it's a week, <laughs> even if it's not just a day, if you're in bed for a week and you're feeling shit, you, you'll come back a different day. It might be a week from now, a year from now, but you can fucking fight against it and, and people forget that you, you shouldn't, you know, shun yourself for <clears throat> just having a fucking shit day. Even, like, I feel like that's the thing. It's like, I we always compare ourselves to the on, on the internet. It's same with looks, same with body type, same with job, same with different standards, where it's like, just because someone's what? And, uh, you know, Olympics. I'll, I'll sit here and I'll be like, I didn't judge. Like, when I broke my foot, I'd be looking at people who swam six hours a day, ran six hours a day, and I'd be like, I can't even do one hour, and I hate myself for it. People are different. You are different. People's levels are different. You can, you might have laid in your bed for one month straight, crying to yourself, and then your one little happiness is looking at a stream, and you're like, I didn't even leave my bed today. That was my life for the longest time, looking at YouTube videos. There was a, I'm pretty sure there was a time where I didn't, like, you don't, there's no rush on life. We have our whole lives. We have our whole lives, even if it's one year. That's one year off your, what, fucking six years. Don't stress about it. So one fucking few days in bed isn't going to fucking destroy your whole fucking life. Don't, don't, don't stress. Don't stress. But they will, regardless. Oh, yeah. Even the, no matter what, the advice. You will stress, and it sucks. U W U. Yeah. <coughs> Should I go for the next one? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait. Uh. Uh. Short. What? Short. Short time? No, I can't <laughs> take another <laughs> shot. <laughs> this is drunk advice. <laughs> He's crying. I just took a shot. I oh, cannot take a shot. Was like ten minutes this ago. Is so <laughs> I, I, even, I think it's because I didn't eat. I'm feeling it so quick. I, Why did you not eat? I Okay, I no, I did eat. I did eat. I ate my beans, but it's like, I didn't. I ate my beans. <laughs> I ate my beans. What's the, I, oh, God. Okay. You know what? I feel, I'm like, I can take a shot because it's Nikki turns and Rihanna still loves My chat says like, it's short time, so. Short time? <laughs> okay, how about, okay. We'll call half a shot. Half a shot. All right. Half a shot. Half a shot. Let me get my... I love you. She's gonna kill me. You are going to take care of me tonight. My alcohol was in here. That's how I'm bad. Okay. I'm, this is almost empty. Yes, yeah, fine. We got this though. I, that tastes oh, like tequila. <laughs> Not when it's in stuff. I still have some in here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I still got my raven LED. He's up there. You want to see my dead raven minx? Yeah, Zuko is care. terrified of it. No, he wants to kill it. Do you remember when he was on my arm and I showed it to him? Oh yeah. <clears throat> water. I have water. This bottle was to here. I drank this much already. This ball was, it started here. Not very much. Well, it is on weekday. I feel like on weekends, I'm like, I can drink a liter of vodka and no one can stop me. On a weekday, if I drink more than a certain amount, I'm like, I'm, I'm a horrible person. I'm an alcoholic. Poe can just, can just do it. <laughs> no, do you, what you need to remember is you have a different job than other people. Like, you know, you can drink on weekdays and then maybe not drink on weekends. You just have a different schedule than other people. True. Like, I feel like oh, okay. that's, that's the thing that with, like, true, our actually. society. Like, we are like, oh, on weekends I have to, you know, I can party, I can do whatever I want. And on weekdays I can't. With us, it's completely different because we have a different working schedule. That's the same with our sleep I schedule. I forget that sometimes. I think, you know, when you work, it's like, oh, weekends only I can drink. So on the, the, the But to be fair, I literally just went... I tried to cool down my drink like it was beans. So now I'm like, wait, do I need this shot? What do you mean beans? I'm just imagining like Minx just fucking eating beans out of Oh, the my, my thing right now, no, I get cheese strings, you know the cheese strings, and I meant like two of them with beans because it's so really? stringy. It's like, my, it's like, I love cheese, but like I realized cheese string is the one that like hangs like in the mukbangs of like pizza stuff, and I'll just enjoy cheese and beans. Fair. Okay. Big beans. 
Um, I have a, I have one that I find very interesting because I think we all have very different perspectives on that based off on how old we are and where we are in life. Uh, someone said, I'm turning 20 in four months and I am not ready. I still feel like a dumb child. I mean, I act like a child and I'm 419 years old. <laughs> Every time I say it, I just look at things. <laughs> 19 years old mm. um well i feel like okay this is the thing i literally i'm the same i sometimes forget that i'm not a teenager anymore that sounds so bad but it's more like when your 20s come you don't realize how quick they go where it's like when i turned 21 i was like oh my god legally like i'm i'm uh, you don't realize where the years go by um um I don't even know the advice. I not ready. It doesn't change you. I don't think you should. It really does. Like, I you just, stop like you stop like your brain stops like developing and your personality. It, yeah, develops, yeah, it so doesn't. You like, shouldn't worry about this. Is the thing I almost literally said. Age doesn't matter. Do not clip that out of context, boys. But yeah. in this scenario, age does not matter. I don't think like I think especially on the internet. The older you are, like I I remember a lot of the times like. No, I'm not. I feel like it's obvious to call out names, but you know, I I went on a Minecraft date with Jack for content, and I got called pedo by so many <laughs> young girls in his chat because he is a he's 18, and I understand that is young, but I'm 20. It's it's silly, and people are like this fucking old. That that was the worst day of my the DMs I got through that. It was like you're so fuck. Get off the internet. Talk to you. It was like oh, I am old. Where really I was like. It's a bit though, like you're not actually going on a date with him. Like Yeah, no, that well. I'm not, first of all, but it's the fact that I'm twenty four and if I was if I was out right now, if I wasn't on the internet, I would think I'm young. I thought it was like, oh, thirty you start worrying. But because I'm on the internet, I'm like, Oh my god, I'm old. Like every successful streamer right now, they're like nineteen, twenty. I'm like, why I should I should give this up. Like that week was the worst where it's like but age doesn't matter because then I no. say and they're like, "Are you fucking stupid? You're no different than the like." It look at matter. look at Jenna Marbles. She's like, isn't she like thirty? She's Jenna. Who Jenna? Who, who is who I want to be? Yeah, like she's like, and she's just still just vibing. She doesn't care how old she is, and that's the way to go. Just if they're like, the more you worry about your age, like the less you live your life. That's that's the thing. I you know I never worried about my age until you know that shit happened, and now I'm like constantly. It's like, don't worry about it. be yourself. Who fucking and cares? Like, if you're gonna make fun of people who are older than you, like, you're kind of stupid because you're eventually gonna get old. I don't know. No, I, I, I understand it as that. a bit, you know? I understand it as a bit. Like, I call people old. Oh, yeah, as a bit, but, like, yeah. if you're, yeah. like, oh, you're so old, you're great. Like, you you are aging. <laughs> like, no, no, that's the thing. Like, like it, it, when it's funny, like, I'll always say, Austin, like, really, he's still doing this, and he'll be like, you're a woman, you age faster, you're still coming on my show. That's funny. We're friends. We get yeah. it. But then it, in circumstances. Oh, yeah. Like, I got hate for when I went on the lover host with Will. Because obviously, Will, I was 18 and he was 23 or 22. I don't remember. But, like, you know, obviously, it's like, oh, the age gap. It's not okay. Nikki is not just barely an adult. And it's like, okay, I am barely an adult in that situation but i am an adult in any other situation like you you want to treat me like an adult in another situation but treat me like a child in another situation like like you know make yeah. up your mind like you know i yes i i am now 19 years old but you need to remember i finished school early i moved out at 17 i am like i'm not saying i'm more mature than other people but i am a step ahead i am a step ahead of most people and you know, it's like you can't you can't call me out for being a child in one situation and then being an adult in another situation. That is not how it works. That is not how it works. Yes, I am in, like I am I'm still like, you know, I'm still what is it called? Uh, I still act like a child in a certain situation and then like act like an adult in another situation. But when you're 25, you will still act like that in certain situations. It's not like, you know, it's not different. No, fuck this. You gotta give her another. I'm definitely. I'm. I'm feeling so tipsy, and she's just spitting facts. I'm like, I can't even yeah. get words out when I try to give advice, and she's literally just every time. You, you, it's and you're a fireball. No, now. she give get her at least half Captain Morgan. I was vouching for Nikki. I, I was like, I don't want any more alcohol. 
This might you fucking drink that right now. The audacity of me fucking stuttering my words, and then she's just out here spitting facts and every fucking time. Not once, not once have watching. I heard her. And you always will get a star in your face. My face, your face being my fucking boot. Damn it! See, I that didn't make sense. <laughs> I, I feel like I didn't give that person any <laughs> advice though. I only talked and about. To be my fair, health, Nikki's so. gonna be a therapist though. I'm not therapist, mm -hmm. but like, she she has experience. We just sit here trying to spit facts, but Nikki's just practicing her job right now. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. How crazy would that be if Nikki gets her as a therapist? Imagine, oh, imagine, oh, because oh. I want to be a, I because I always wanted to work with like, I, I wanted to work in a psych ward with children and adolescents, right? Now I'm kind of thinking about moving on to like streamers and like content creators, but I always wanted to do that. Imagine I become a psychiatrist and I, I'm at, like at my first day of work, I'm in this, you know, uh, psych ward for children and adolescents and I get like, I don't know, a 17 year old in my, in my session, they're like, I know you. You're near oh too. I, I would be terrified. I would be terrified. <laughs> oh my god. What do you even do there? Right? Oh god. No, no, I definitely like, you know, like I said it before, the Dr. K thing, but also, oh god, this sounds so, it's like, I feel like even with women, it would be so nice to just have a woman to talk it's not, to. It's not like, I think, doc, yeah, I think Dr. K is great, but it sounds so. I guess sexist, but I feel no. way more comfortable talking to women. No, like, I think everyone has a preference. Them. My friend uh, Clarissa has a preference of talking to male therapists, but I have a preference talking to women, like female ones. It's, so it's yeah, it, you know, totally and, and that's the good thing about therapists. It's you can tell them, and it's fine if you are okay for everyone who's thinking about going to therapy and they're scared. Oh, I don't know if I would like my therapist. I don't know how to tell them you are like that is what you should do you just if you are not okay like if you if there's a thing that bothers you about your about your therapist and you want to have a different therapist that is okay and that is how it's supposed to be they will not be mad at you that is their job i i have had therapists where i was like hey i you know i feel like we don't really vibe you don't really you know you don't really share the own, the same experiences as me and i feel like you know you can't really give me the tips that i need right now and uh listen to me in a way that i need it right now i would like to try it out with a different one and they will be like yes good okay thank you for telling me because as a therapist you can you like the therapist cannot tell you what you need the, the therapist cannot tell you hey you need a different therapist because that oh, just yeah, sounds yeah, weird. I have to something right now. Sorry, Nikki, huh? really quick. I had a therapist for like the longest time. She was so good to me, so sweet. But I never told her about streaming. It was only about, you know, my real issues. So I completely like ghosted all her calls the past mm -hmm. while because like she doesn't understand online. Well, I never really told her, but it was more scared to. Mm -hmm. But I miss her. And she sent me so many emails and I'm like, Wait, what were you? And it's like, how do you tell her? I lied about everything. I feel not at everything. Just but tell I lied her. About half of my life. Like, like what you need to remember is that is you know that's your therapist's job. You, I, okay, Minx, I know you like your diagnostic because you told me a little bit about it, and I have the same diagnostic, and I've I've been with people who have that because I've been in psychiatric hospitals for that, and I've talked to people about that, right? And what I can tell you that is that it is a very common thing to just it, it, with the thing that you struggle with to just ghost your therapist and if your therapist knows what you are going through and you know your diagnostic your mental struggles your therapist will be fine with that because well, that will is she be mad at me that I no no I mean, she sent me a letter to my house finally and she was like you know, we, it, or it wasn't from her, it was from the clinic, but it was her number. It was like, I have to, you know, our things are done if there's no contact. And it's like, I've one week, but I'm like scared because it's so mean that I have a message. It's not mean, no, but it's like, no, I'm going to but she might like, be mad. Oh, I think yeah. she's more worried about you than mad. Exactly. You have a message about. Some therapists are shit though. I had a therapist that like was just awful. And, and then I asked her to switch and she was like really bitchy about it. Yeah, but you know, then then you know that's not what you needed. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, if that therapist is bitchy about it, you don't want to have a bitchy therapist. It's like you don't like, help. You want to ha have a bitchy therapist in another way. Like, I loved my therapist in a way of like I I ranted about my family life, and he kicked a chair and was like, "Yeah, that fucking sucks." 
And I was like, yes, it fucking sucks. You are so right, Mr. Therapist. And that was the moment where I was like, that is my therapist. That is the guy that I want to talk to. You know? Do we then, just really turn this from advice to like opening up to Nikki? I was like, what do I do? <laughs> this is Nikki's just out there, but no, I feel like I'm crying. I'm like, I have goals that are what do I do though? I'm no, giving me no, advice. that is completely fine and that is completely understandable. And you know, if she is, I'm not going to say if she's a good therapist because there is not, 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 not a thing that's a good therapist and a bad therapist. It's just different ways that they approach it. But if she understands what you are dealing with, she will be fine with it and if not you know hey maybe it doesn't work out and i have to look for a different therapist so you know you can message her and also i understand that you're scared with the streaming thing and that is exactly why i want to be a therapist for streamers i don't want to have it on stream i don't want to be a therapist on stream and have a therapist session on stream because i know that there's certain things that you cannot open up to on stream i would love to do that like behind the scenes and especially with young women or like just women uh, co like female content creators because i know i know how hard it is out here to be a female content creator like you know have you seen half of the things that get told about me on the internet no what do you mean nikki you just show your boobies and get views exactly and that is why you can't talk to a male therapist like you can if he <laughs> understands it but a lot of them don't but, Minx, again, don't be scared about it. Talk to your therapist about it. And, you know, you can apologize and feel sorry oh, well, about just it. Just get your degree already so I can have you as my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your fucking degree. Make it easier for me. <laughs> Bye, Amy. Hello, Nikki. <laughs> oh, you're giving me motivation to actually study. Oh, God. No, I'm like, I don't think you like... This is kind of like... Uh, you know, if, if, if it's cringe, let's just say it's because the alcohol... But I feel like your what you said has helped me more than anything else where it's like, oh, yeah, forget I was giving advice. But it's like, yeah, no, this is definitely your route. I, I love you so much as a streamer. Too. I think you're natural as a streamer and you can do this. But I also feel there's definitely somewhere else where you can give the kindness and the energy that you have in your soul to help others. And it's like, yes, streaming's good. But you can't really hit people and the people the amount of streamers that struggle like even small streamers like getting into it, it's like oh, this yeah. could what you it, they could help more people than you fucking realize and more people than they even realize like i don't think half the streamers like no i don't need a therapist they won't understand oh, yeah like i'm like oh i don't need a therapist you, you did understand one. it would be so much easier so much easier mm -hmm. thank you i appreciate i'm that. just gonna go fucking piss now all right all right in my mouth please <laughs> Sorry. I Do you have water, so Rihanna? Do you have water? Are you drinking water? No. Get some water, please. <laughs> Go drink some water. I would have said that not not drunk, you know, I would have done. Hi. Do you guys have any advice you telling have. your parents you're <laughs> dating someone? <laughs> it's been making me really anxious. We're all lately. thinking it. I, I just said it. I, I'm going to be honest with you, Rihanna. I was not thinking it. You're not a real mink, Stan. <laughs> all right. All right. How are you? How do you feel? How is your head? Fine. I'm only just tipsy because I ate all that food before I mm. drank. So. I didn't. I couldn't yeah. finish it. It's in the trash. What's in the trash? The food. Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I couldn't oh. finish the food. <laughs> I have that song in my head now. Hey, chat, let's sing. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. Yeah. Yeah. So cool, no. I love the song. <laughs> I love it. It's a good song. It makes this chat likes this song. Because she plays it a lot. Notice, notice, yep. I didn't even need to pee, I just got chips. <laughs> Fair Snippy. enough. I was lied to. You were. Am I wearing George Not Found merch? No, this is really, really old soot house merch that says eat pant. Eat pant. Eat pant. Eat pant. Hi, Nikki IDK, what to do RM? Who's next? I think you, Rihanna, right? I Is it me? Yeah. Um, yes, Alright, Sadie sent a few. Scary. She said, 
I'll just choose one though. Are people asking? But okay, I'll go into that one later because that one's a bit serious. Uh, Sadie so asked, uh, advice on long distance relationships. Um, I would say that with long distance relationships, you need to know that. Well, there needs to be like a, a mutual understanding of like. Well, there's probably a time difference. You're a long way away. Like you need to sort of like. You know. Like, I let someone live their life and, like, reply in their own time and not be on each other's, like, cases so much. And they're not for everyone, and that's fine. You know? Some people need the physical aspect of it, and that's okay. But... I mean, I won't ask Minx, because she's, she's, never, she's never known love. No. And it shows. Wow. Dude, wow. Wow. I'm almost no love. I love you. I love you. Hey, Rihanna! Wait, what did Rihanna say? She said, don't lie to her. I love me. I'm going to drop kick you, did. Alright. When? No, with long distance though, I mean, it depends. What I feel like some people count it as like, you know, they live two hours away. Long distance for me is, you know, a whole continent away where it's like, oh, different time zones. She's talking about me. You know, different, di <laughs> different, different time zones. Time zone. <laughs> no, but we're a continent <laughs> away. We're not a continent away. away. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the same <laughs> fucking island. What? No, we're not on the same island. Are you no, not? not. Wait, on the island. Where's the United okay? Kingdom? Okay, you're in the same area um, of an island. Same <laughs> it's like saying Minx is English. Um, but no, I think I think long distance is hard. Uh, it depends on the person, you know. Any advice? Some people need the you. the physical comfort, the shit like that. Other people, it depends. It depends on who you're with. I don't the need to peg for me is just too great. It's never worked out for me. Nothing's ever worked out for Mix and Love, though. She always spits on them and. I got money away. from it. <laughs> True. <laughs> what did you spit on, Goggy? It was affection. It was like a little. It was like an aggressive kiss. Okay. I mean, I know we spent like a whole stream like spitting into each other's mouths, but I yeah, and no, spitting that. is like an aggressive kiss. I don't see the issue with it, unless I they know. have an issue. But <laughs> clearly, he did. R two months, Pog three. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> my <laughs> my two cents to this situation. I am so fucking drunk. Um, <laughs> um I've been in long distance relationships before. And what I can say is I have always, oh, like, I'm still, like, I'm still at a point where I'm still like, oh, yeah, I can try long distance relationships. But what always ended my long distance relationships was jealousy. And I feel like what you need is, like Rihanna Hi, said, you Nikki both need to be on the same page. And, and, um, like, I feel like, you know, I feel like jealousy is like a big, big point in long distance relationships because you don't see each other. You don't know what the other person is doing all the time. And that's fine. You, you shouldn't, you know, you should be able to talk to your friends. You should be able to live your own life. Your partner is not like your, like your partner is not your accessory that you wear with yourself. Your partner is your partner. Um, <clears throat> and it can work with long distance. It cannot work with long distance. It's not for everyone. But what you need is like maybe even more than in a, in a not long distance relationship communication if you you know i like i am i personally i cannot say much about it because my relationships ended with that like they ended with the long distance um so i cannot say much about it but communication is so so important especially if you are so far away and it's also really important to like i don't know which one of the other two said, I'm so... Am I stumbling over my words? No, that's why I was about to <laughs> roast you for I was like, no way this bitch just said she's drunk and she's spitting facts again. The audacity. I was like, yeah, this is the one. We <laughs> her out. If you had said, am I doing that over words? We all wrote it. Fucking... Okay. Hey, but I can just spit facts. 
Okay, well, um, I don't know which one of you said it, but it's, it is also important to know each other's schedules and to notice that with time difference, different schedules will come and, you know, that might also be very hard. But what I can tell you, if you are hopeless and sad, remember Phil and Kristen. Phil and Kristen, Phil lived in the UK. Kristen lived in America and they are now married and they are the sweetest people ever and I love them. I love them so much. I love them to death. So, you know, you can make it work. If you really love each other, you can make it work. Do you guys ever get like... This That's is all so public. Yeah, I love them. Get, like, <laughs> do you ever get like the, the urge to just be like, I have a big penis, just to say I have a big penis? Like that, I just want to say that right now. I don't know why. Can you feel? And this is why we said she's she's just the crackhead of the bronze, bro. We did dead off from the long distance device, and it's like I got a big penis though. <laughs> Nikki, I was like, like that's I fun, that, but also Nikki, that we were helping. So like, some person in chat's crying, like, oh my god, I'm about to break up with my long distance. Thank you. And then Rihanna's just like, yep, yeah, I got a big penis. <laughs> and then like the last like the last text I sent Minx was why my pee pee hurt. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? Wait, was wait, that wait, 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 I got, I, Ivy edited, I think Ivy edited the sugar crush meme that I wanted. Oh god, how do I download did, a video from? Did they? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh. Are you able to show wanna, it to us? I wanna, can we have a dance break to no, Unbuilt Different? No. <laughs> Definitely not. 100% not. Please. No. Okay, let me see if I can, hold on, let me see if I can send this to you guys. Can we, uh, oh god, how do I? Give me a second, I'm struggling. Uh, if I download it... Does I'm Built something. Differently have chords? I can try and play it on guitar. Oh, fuck. Uh, Alright, here's Maybe. the thing for you guys. Oh. I'm gonna show it to my st uh, stream, so I'm gonna mute. Um, what are you showing? The, <clears throat> someone did the meme. Oh wait, I wanna show it to stream to you. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. I like it. I like it. Dude, I we just bashes it out anytime I'm like, sugar crash meme, please. <laughs> Remember? Oh, do you remember on the Lover Host? I don't know. I think it was your Lover Host, um, where Austin was like, "Oh, guys, do the oh no meme, like the oh no, oh no, oh my oh, god, no, yes, no, no, no. the wheelchair yeah, one." that was so oh funny. Oh my god! The only level host I would ever apply for would be like Mixes or Nikki's. Aww. Well, Aww. well, well, well. If you didn't choose me, I would kill you though. Minx and I <laughs> have a surprise for you in a few months. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Dude, no. But I don't even know. The thing is, I don't even know how to apply. Chat. Use your brain. Use your brain. I have a lot of ideas. How do I apply? Can since can you? Well, we can do the option. Yeah. Like if you're having a show, it's like, yeah. it's like it's like is there anyone? He he prefers getting the I contestants for it, it but he'd be like, is there anyone in particular that you want? Oh, are you going to say me? We can watch for you. Yeah. Yeah, we were like, yeah, Rihanna, get Rihanna on. And then and then we can ask him to do streamy D&D with us for an episode. <laughs> I'll get Austin on. Do you think Austin would... Do you think Austin could do roleplay? He wore a cat made outfit, yes. Fair, he looked hot in that. Like, yeah, yeah. At, at, like as platonically as possible, Austin looked hot in the cat made... He, yeah, Austin, yeah. As non platonically as possible, <laughs> Austin looked hot. Things <laughs> is like, let me peg you. Austin asked me, I like almost every day, like, I'm not gonna marry you. I don't like you, bro. Oh, I love Austin. Aww. Austin, you know, Austin's so chill for a host, though. You know, for oh, the yeah. amount of like, you know, the attention he has, the shit he gets, he's such a sweetheart. Yeah, Austin is amazing. He makes a lot of weed, and that's how he keeps happy. <laughs> so sweet, bro. <laughs> It's like we bear. All right, are we doing yeah. another round of questions or yeah. uh, shot time? <laughs> <laughs> All I want when Rihanna says shot, I just looked. 
I don't have so anything. Free. I don't have anything left. Oh, I'm making you wait, Chicky P. I'm coming in. <laughs> Rihanna got new skill. New skill acquired. <laughs> she is the Enderman I am in love with. Oh my god, the way she just, the way she just really said, "Don't worry, Chicky P." There's never alcohol in Rihanna's house. Uh. You know I love you guys, and that is why I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're destroying her liver. Try and say this should be our new. This should be our new podcast. We should do this. More I will like not get before. drunk much. <laughs> <laughs> not every week. I'm not saying every week. Like you know, just maybe like. No, what I was saying was like I. I was definitely. I was like. I feel like me and Rihanna are just giving scuffed advice. But I was gonna say, Nikki, you should do a podcast where you actually do give advice like this. But then I'm like, you need a bit of fun, so. Maybe it should be a thing. Like every second week, the advice stream or something fun like that. Why do people keep saying I need to part my hair in the middle? I think I look weird, really weird on that. It's have because a middle your, part. your hair is not used to having a middle part. I don't think I look good with the middle part, though. I think you look good no matter what. True. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cheers to um, yeah. shots. I almost forgot. You know, I do want to. I do want to do a, ch- a podcast. Like I've been planning this podcast for advice for like. Uh, uh, like probably like three months now but the problem is that um uh i want to do it when we moved and i want to do it when everything's calmed down oh yeah because you're moving to wherever brighton i, I know where bob oh okay yeah. so do, they do it's, know i almost, yeah. I almost said Chat, i would no, just throw to myself brighton. out balcony if i had accidentally i was like <gasps> i mean no, okay. if you don't want to do it i'm forcing minx to do it i'm already nice <laughs> invading minx's space dude we're not gonna give a good advice while nikki are you serious <laughs> we're not gonna start advice stop for you. So you guys are here. you guys i hate this uh, stop <laughs> You're no, amazing! Yeah, I'd be starting over words, I'm like, not this one, next answer, please. But every answer, Nikki's like, actually, yes, so please. <laughs> and then she's, <laughs> she'll call her and say, you don't even seem fucking drunk. Alright, here's to, um, here's to the she bad bitches. For, yeah, the bad bitches. Yes, we going strong. Don't like shift. Yeah. Woo. Ooh. I don't. Who's on your drunk cast this weekend? Oh, yeah. Uh, the eating question. I d- Wait, what? Who's on your drunk cast this weekend? Uh, Are you doing it? Kate Reno is the only person <gasps> I know that's on it. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I want to talk to her. I want to talk to her because I feel really. Hey, you want to come on? It? You want more alcohol in your think, system? No. Girl? No. I think I, I think I should message her privately. No, you should. <laughs> I think that'd be a good advice stream. But all so far, it's just Katerino. I, and obviously me because I'm always on now. I'm, I'm the mix. Okay. I'm the mix to mix. I'm the mix to wait. You trying I can't to think say it? Wrong, I was gonna say me. that I'm the like because you are like I am the you that you are to love or host to the mix cast drunk cast. Oh, that makes sense. true. <laughs> you are though. <laughs> <laughs> You should just you should just have Rihanna like as a constant person yeah. on the drunk cast. I feel no, I feel like it's a safe thing. That's what like my favorite thing is because I got so much anxiety with the podcast, but like when I know someone I know is there, so it's like okay, this is my staple point. Um, yeah, me but- co-host, me co-host drunk cast. I just pop in here and there and make weird noises <laughs> because like, oh, I didn't oh, know you yeah, were every streaming. Time, Jack is so excited. They're like Nikki joining, Nikki joining. It's like we can't force her every time. Yeah, chat. We'll get her at least. I don't. I don't drink Please. much. You can't. You know. I. If, if I actually, Nikki, I'm gonna stop you there, and I'm gonna say it's not fair. Me and Rihanna are UK and Irish, yeah, and we drink a lot. Exactly. But Nikki's German. But Germans drink a lot too. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, I was gonna thing. say I yeah. can't even vouch for you that yeah, way. I guess you Nikki's just Nikki. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, like, I'm okay just... with being on there here and there. Yeah, Nikki, but I can't can, be on there every time. It. Just practice no. with your game. No, I think I'd like I, well, I, I, I want my liver to be oh, healthy, gosh. okay? I want my liver and my kidney to be healthy. And I'm very scared because I'm not a hypochondriac, but I still, like, get very anxious about my body not functioning the way it, so it should. Uh, yeah. about me? I remember no, I'm not when trying I had to say anything about you. <laughs> no, I don't want to say. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying personally. I'm gonna say it and cry now. <laughs> Crying bit incoming. Um, I'm trying to find. I know the question I'm gonna ask next, but I'm trying to find it. And then the question is, Rihanna, will you come to drunk class? Of course, Minx happily. <laughs> Okay, you know what, Ariana? I'll let you on the drum cast. Hello. Oh, God, I wish that was me. I don't know who I want to be in this situation. I just want to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rocks! It was a rock! Shit! Okay, your rock? rocks. What's your spirit oh. animal, Minx? Is it a rock? Oh, my Twitter. You know what your spirit animal is? I can't. Oh no, the rock is gone. Shit, I can't find it because I can't open up my my browser because this is here. Uh, you can draw me, sure. I don't care. Do, can anyone repeat the question as much as they remember? Um, it's a question about food. Minks can't. So let's just chill and talk until I. What you say? I said you can't read. I said you can't see. Huh? No, you can't read. You can't read. I can read. What are we talking about? About Minx's illiteracy. Uh, yeah, if you can re repeat the donation, reality, please. No, there was a donation that, or not donation, it was one of the, it was my next advice question, but I can't find it right now. Oh, okay. Did you guys know, I think uh, I'm illiterate, but with numbers. Because numbers just don't make sense in my head. It's not dyspraxia. Maybe. Dyspraxia. I went to like a like a teacher for that, it and it helped me a little bit. But I just numbers just don't get into my head, and that comes from a person who studies maths. <laughs> That's the problem. Like I am so scared to like go into psychiatry because no, I know I, I have to have good 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 grades in maths to study medicine. So I might just do psychology and hope That's for the best. <laughs> I don't think this is my the weird thing about fucking uh, everything you learn in school, right? This I, I don't care whatever thing you got if you're, you know, not good with some shit. It does not matter in life. We weren't taught how to buy, buy a house. We weren't taught taxes. how to do taxes. 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 Half the shit you learn in school, it ain't going fucking matter. Oh, hold on. What I got do this. you mean? I'm always doing Pythagoras theorem in my real life. Yeah, because then you're 419 years old. Because you know everything. You know all the maths in this stage. Yes. <clears throat> Suck my fat cock. You've been talking about cock a lot, the stream, Rihanna. <laughs> yeah. I know, I have a question before I lose it, right? Hey, Minx, as I've been watching you for about a year, you say much about your struggle with weight loss. How are you able to control yourself around temptations or people convincing you to let go and saying it's okay, you can eat? Thank you. So I think this question is about um, they have an eating disorder. I feel like I've just put that on them. But that does sound like... An eating disorder. Um, does anyone want to go first? Wait, can you repeat the question? Hmm. Yeah, shake your head, Nikki. Um, it's uh, hey, Minx. As I've been watching you for about a year now, you'd say much more. How are how are you able to control yourself with temptations or people convincing you to let go and saying it's okay, you can eat? Thank you. Mm -mm. I will start straight away. Because even though that's still a thing in my mind, I feel like when when I had abs, when I was in LA that abs? whole time, yes, she I had, had a four pack. she had good abs. How? No, this is the thing. No, okay. Before you say anything, Minx, like I must say, 
I have been like holding myself back from messaging you and being like, how the fuck? Like, what do you do? Because like you, because you like, you know, you have like fasting and shit. And I was like, I just want advice. So yeah, actually, Minx, you were perfect for this question. So the worst thing is, I don't understand how influencers online have abs and can eat in a good thing. Because the only time I ever, ever had like the four abs in my life was when I had the worst eating disorder in my life. Women, this is the first thing I will say. I understand you see people online. I still haven't found their secret. I've been looking for years. But women need tummy, you know? And I know it sucks, but we, we carry <laughs> babies. Even if you don't want it, we are made to carry children. And we have extra fat than men. It's easier for men to get abs than us. Um, because we carry the extra fat to protect the children in our stomach. I know you're like me, like, oh, I don't want no children. But that's, that's what it is. And I think what I will say about that is when I had a, no one noticed the difference. I remember I had a whole saga in my life thinking, I have abs, I have abs. No one ever saw them. No one even cared about the body type I had then. That when I say it, exactly what Rihanna said, you had abs, you have this mentality about your body that <clears throat> you don't realize. You, you, you do not realize. You sit there and you're like, Oh my god, I ate over my calorie intake today. I'm huge. Oh my god, what should I do? Should I purge? No, you don't even fucking realize. And this is the saddest thing because I'm I'm overcoming it right now that I realize it now. Like yesterday, it was disgusting. I had a chippers, I had a fish kebab, I had a whole chips, I had all garlic sauce, and then I had Ben and Jerry's to finish it off. And after that night, I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so fat. I looked in the mirror and I cried to my mom. Thank god I was with her all night. I was like, I, I, I can't go on stream. To there, you don't see a difference. No one pointed it out. I told my mom someone would notice the blowing in my face. It, you are in your head. This is the sad thing. You are in your head that you will never realize. And even if you lose weight, as someone who was, you know, literally considered obese, 200 plus pounds, I was more confident then than I am now. When you start losing weight, you feel a confidence that you have that you feel, if I keep losing weight, I'm going to keep gaining this confidence. But it goes the other way. It goes the way where it's like, why why can't I keep losing the weight I lost? I lost this certain amount in a week. Why can't I do that again? Why can't I look like this influencer? Why can't I look like this? Why is in my stomach? Like, a, a certain <laughs> thing I have is no matter how skinny I got, my belly button kind of goes like, this way but i've noticed all skinny people will go like they're they're still oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and i noticed that but half the people don't you i don't know how to say it but the fact that people will still you guys you chat you call me pretty i look in the mirror and i'm like i don't look good to get today i can't go live but you're like how fucking dare you say that when i look at you like oh you're the most beautiful person ever i'm lucky to have people to call me beautiful but i don't think you realize <laughs> it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Happiness is within, and no matter what I say, st eating disorders are hard. Harder than they people realize because people are like, oh, but you're skinny. What's wrong with that? Like, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, they don't realize the my mental mom, thing. Like, my mom, because, like, I had a really bad one, like, last year, and I would only eat, like, I would f not eat for 24 hours, and then I'd maybe eat soup or something. And that was, like, all I would eat. Terribly constipated, by the way. Worst thing for your butthole. But, like, honestly, like, when people were like, oh, you look good, oh, you've lost so much weight. Like, my mum was like, oh, you're losing too much weight, like, this is, like, you need to eat food. But it's like, for you, you're like, oh, but I'm losing weight. Like, oh, I look better, though. Oh, I've got, like, so much more confidence. But it's like, it, it, it doesn't necessarily make you happy to be skinny. That, that's exactly it. and that's not weird. even that even when you get the confirmation like i i apologize nikki to call you out on this but this is something that affects me like you saying you needed to lose weight today is one of the issues where it's like chat you can look at this like it we all see nikki like it's like oh my god wow i i want to look like nikki look how pretty she is and she's like i need to lose more weight i, I want to lose more weight it's like no one will ever be satisfied. Even though I, I'm angry at you, I understand it, Nikki. I'm mad at you because it's <laughs> like you, 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 you lost a lot of weight in a little time, and I'm like, this is like honestly, in my opinion, 
below what you should be. I understand this might be your fucking weight that you want to be, but I'm like maybe too low but then you're like i want to lose m more weight where you you won't realize it until someone tells you and sadly no one will tell you no one really like unless it's like oh you look good now that's what you're gonna but get you can't be told though like i feel like you can't be that's, like that's the issue no matter he what it's always you looking at something that people don't see eating disorders are one of the hardest things because no matter how many times someone tells you oh but you're, you're gonna see yourself in the mirror a different way you might have a god a god complex one day and you're like i'm the baddest bitch oh my god look at me i look good and the next day you're like i hate myself why do i look like this when others look like something else the sad thing is i you'll probably never really realistically feel happy with your body there's always going to be an issue and like you there's a lot beautiful. of the time it's you not your beautiful. fault like you can have like body dysmorphia and you see things that just aren't it's not true but it's your brain telling you that something's like looks that way when it doesn't and the next day you don't have it and you're like why did i think that way like it's just you've got to sort of just learn like and this is going back to school like why didn't they never teach us like how to like i don't know like do you do something useful like oh you know good meals and like how like you know what how many calories you're supposed to eat and all that shit like i was never taught that and it, but that's the thing that online it's like do this let's have this oatmeal food is fuel please chat remember you might be on a 1200 like calorie deficient, deficient but as someone who's it. went to like uh you know food nutrition and i i did i secret i did study it three thousand okay they they say like oh five thousand calories you have to eat three thousand five hundred <laughs> calories you know a week to gain a pound of fat that is that is over it you can overeat and that will be fine oh you had a ben and jerry's today and you feel bad that's not going to fucking matter you could diet the next day and it'll it'll change everything one bad day will not fuck you up we're eating a pizza with your family you're at a family meal and you have you have no you know there you can't choose the food you intake whether you only eat meat or whatever it's not going to fucking ruin everything it's not going to ruin everything. And that's what people need to realize. One bad day won't affect you. Two bad days won't affect you. If you can get back on track, you'll be fine. Don't feel shit about it. And also, please don't starve yourself. Because I've learned you will hold more stomach fat if you do starve yourself. Your body will freak out. And it's your it will... brain as well. Your brain, but also well, no, like you your body will right. hold extra fat because it doesn't realize. If you eat so little... Your body will think, oh, I only get this amount of food. I need to hold on to the extra fat to protect my body. You need to eat to lose weight. Eat healthy. Eat enough calories. Starving yourself will go the other route. I ate a meal today. I'm proud of you, but that's not enough. I, I understand you're learning. I'm proud that you ate a whole meal, but you need more than that. All I need is makes his love to survive. <laughs> um, sorry, I just took over the mic there. What no, that was good. Your, I, that your was guys' good. turn. Who's what's next? Who's next? I don't know. What what? Is Whoever wants to. I honestly, I mean, do you want to talk about this, Nick? I feel like. I mean, what I can say about it is, like. You know, I, you guys have read my tweet longer. Um, I have been struggling with that for the longest part of my life, for more like for almost my entire life. Uh, I hit puberty, and I was like, okay. Uh, even before puberty, I uh, uh, I struggled with it. And the the thing that I can say is, I have been in place i have been in hospitals i've had feeding tubes because i did not eat and i have seen friends die from this disorder and you know what it didn't change a thing and that is the thing i know like i can talk to you and i can tell you about my experience and about how you should live your life and you know not not care about it and you know you, there's people who who understand and all of these things but in the end the only person that can get you out of that is yourself and the problem with an eating disorder is 
once you have had an eating disorder, you know how many calories are in a fucking gum. You know how many calories are in toothpaste. And you can never unthink that. I will, I will go out with my friends eating breakfast and I know exactly. I see, I see numbers I see, and I know it. And it's so hard to still eat and still do it, even though I am recovered. I am, you know, I am fine. I have gained weight. I am at a healthy weight now, uh, even though I wasn't a few years back. But, you know, as much as I can tell you, you will not, you will take that and you will take that as, but I want to be skinny. Chat, what I can tell you is when I was at my lowest weight, dying in the hospital, having feeding tubes all the time, I I was the unhappy, there's not a single picture of me in, on, like, with that weight. There's not a single picture because I, I felt the worst that I have ever felt about myself during that time. So go, careful. Oh, oh no! He jumped on a glass. Aww, so cool. Did it smash? Is he fine? He is fine. He's okay. He just jumped okay. on the glass. No, but like that is what I can tell you. Like it is the hardest thing to deal with. I can like it is hard. It is hard as hell. And as much as I have dealt with trauma, I have dealt with with people in my life dying and leaving and moving and with but with why do you and want all to these lose things more weight? because because it's an it's a disorder no, it is in my brain my brain tells me are... i look into the mirror and i don't know who who i am and what i look like and i know that you no, feel the same why way this? why can't you listen to yourself and others I don't want you to get back there i didn't know you were that deep with seeing how much you pay attention to weight Mings, I, I'm so sorry. I don't want to make you cry. No, it's not, it's not, It's more. It's literally that's so embarrassing. It's more so that the fact that I I didn't even know where you were, and seeing that you know you're you're less. Well, you know we, I'm already worried about you. Where I'm sure you, I'm glad you feel good, but it's more so. It's like if you just said to me you want to lose weight and you seem really good where you are it's like i d listen to yourself it does make me upset and it's like oh god they shouldn't be on stream but oh what you said just does concern me i'm sorry i that's the thing i know where i have been and i don't want to get back there i was the unha like i i couldn't get out of bed chat it was, there was one thing that you said to me the other day nikki and it made me really happy and you were like it was I, it was like a couple months ago and I was like yes like I didn't say anything because I didn't you know when like I know like what it's like to like when someone says something to you and then you're like oh you're praising me now fuck you know but you were like I'm still here I just don't want it fucking you were like you were like oh you know I'm happy that I'm actually eating now like I'm happy that you know now I actually eat food and I was like yes like I feel like you are definitely happier like eating food and like you have like I've seen you fucking you know get on the treadmill every day like and actually like and it's like you you're like you have a healthy balance of like eating and working out and it's like it, like I'm fucking proud of you for like you know coming from that to now being like you know no I am I'm you know we're meal, we're meal prep you know we do like we're doing the fucking healthy way and like because like even when like when I've been really low and like Nikki's been like no like I'm gonna sit here until you eat something like I'm not gonna like, like you know and it's like but it's like that 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 shows like so much like progress and so much like I don't know it's just it's like yeah I, me, maybe I'm like, jumping to see I didn't know Nikki worked out because there's no, no gym yeah, here like, see, I know Nikki like, used to go to the gym a lot where I'm just like seeing her lose yeah no, no like Nikki for me like she's like this is I don't you know me I'm like I barely give people compliments and when I'm doing my cath thank you you know because I have to be mean but I'm like you know like Nikki is like she's not gonna believe me but she's an amazing person in the sense that like she i feel like she's more she's wiser than anyone that i've ever met like, she's wiser than me and i'm like, older than she is and she like i think she is very much aware like of like herself and like how she's feeling and she she kind of knows when she needs to 
do something and like get help and something like she she like like don't worry me so she is like in a place where she she you know she's eating food like she's working out she's she's doing things how the healthy way and if she stopped eating and if i stopped eating it would be the sense that we would both be like okay no i'm gonna sit here until you eat some food because you need to eat this meal and it's healthy and it's like a vegan healthy meal so it's like yeah i i get i get but nikki nikki's wise she's a wise she's a wise yeah she fucking is we learned that today boys eh? We learned her fucking giving us a fucking therapy session for free. Hey yo, this count is a discount though. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the PayPal, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go check up on Zuko real quick, but I'm sure he's fine. Like he just jumped on a plate, so it's fine. I'll just. Why did it smash? Oh my god, dude! Why do my does my face go so red when I tear up a bit? I, I it looks like I had a breakdown right now. I yeah, like, no, like my, when I cry, my nose gets so red and big, uh, and I'm like, everything goes <laughs> red for me. I look like I'm just like I'm gonna I'm just gonna fucking pretend I smoke weed or something. Hold on, I'm actually gonna no, I can't. Rihanna, you gotta keep our chats occupied. I need to put on makeup again to hide it. Okay. You guys, you guys, dance. you guys want to dance with me? Hey, chat, you want to yeah, dance? Minx's, Minx's chat, you want to dance? Let's let's dance this off. I'm looking at your chat, Minx. Minx, chat, you want to you want to listen to song? Yeah, you want to listen to song? Wait, how do I do? Well, oh, fuck. Um, will I'll sing along. I'll sing along. That's what I'll do. Uh, or no, I'll play it on my phone. I'll play it on my phone so everyone can hear. That's what I'll do. Smart, see, smart. Oh god, I got my phone. Oh fuck. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Wait a second. <laughs> we'll, we'll play out loud. We'll play out loud. We'll play out loud, and then I expect everyone to. I expect everyone to 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 sing along. Thank you for the. Here we go. You ready? Thank you for the sub! Thank you for gifting five subs! Whoa! Nikki, I have not seen my father in two years due to abuse and I want to cry and be his child. Again, but I don't know if I can trust him any recommendations or if he has these any. There you go. Advice would be. Oh my god, I can't Thank you, thank you. Uh, that was amazing. Right at the end. That was a jam. That was good. Love the jam soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, who's going to next? Who's on the who's on the ring around? I don't know. I don't know. Is it Michael? Um, um yeah. yeah. Um. Oh god, there's a lot of ones that I hit very Nikki, close I to home. I haven't seen my father in two years due to abuse and I want to try and um. be his child. 
again but I don't know if I can trust him any recommendations or life advice please any okay advice would be good they just donated to me so I, I'm gonna take that one um they say Nikki I have not seen my father for in two years due to abuse and I want to try and be his child again but I don't know if I can trust him any recommendations or life advice please any advice would be good um and I I'm gonna start with that because I three. I've never met my my uh my father like my father father, um, and he uh a few years back when it actually came out that he is my father he did not want anything to do with me, and I can tell you at first I was obviously sad because I thought oh he's my father why does he not want anything to do with me but then I realized if he does not want anything to do with me then I don't want anything to do with him either because I that's the way I treat other people too. Um, but what I can tell you is I've had father figures figures in the past who have been abusive and if you do I like I know you want to feel love and you want to feel love by your father because he's your father. Same with your mother if you chat trigger warning but if your mother is abusive you, you want to love them because they are your parents and that is completely understandable but if they are abusive and if you cannot trust them then you don't have to and you should not have to um i like it is completely normal and understandable that you still you want to love your parents because they're your parents they brought you in this world you know they, they're your blood but if they are abusive you don't have to trust them and you don't have to be your father's daughter or son or whatever. I don't know what you would identify as, but you don't have to be if they give you a reason not to trust them. It is like it is very important to 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 realize that. And I know how hard it is because we we're humans. We all want to be loved by our family. But if your family does not give you the love back, then you do not need a reason to go back to them. Be the person that they wish they... Be the daughter or son or whatever you identify as they wish they have and then get back at them in that way. Focus on yourself. That's... That, that was the get back at them in the way that they, they don't realize they miss you. Like, I've, I've had friends where... A very close friend, one that you know, Chad, he's open about on history, but it's like... Um, you know, his dad left him, and then once he became successful, he was like, hey, I miss you, only when, only when he was doing good. And even in that, even, like, for anyone that, you know, I'm very privileged in the sense where um, my, you know, I, I have one of the best families ever. Like, my mom definitely, you know, is slow on some things as you grow up in Ireland. Like, she was never, you know, homophobic, but she didn't fully understand it, and, like, now she's like she'll be like so what guy oh or girl you're talking about where i'm lucky that i had parents that understand their children but i understand a lot of you guys you might love your parents they don't have to be abusive they don't have to be do anything bad but they can make you they can belittle you in a way that you don't realize they can make you feel like why was i born like oh but yeah i do this for you i do this for you it wasn't your choice to be born remember that no matter what i think an important thing you need to remember is you can choose your family okay um but what i mean by that is like like I, it's tough to talk to me i wish uh, no i wish i'm lucky that my family is some of the closest people ever but what i realize is i also have family in a different area people that aren't my blood related family and i'm like if i didn't have my family they would be the real ones that i keep forever so even if you know you have the shittest family right now dad mom even if it's one person and they they always choose you over them you can pick your family and now we have the internet there's so many people online you will find someone that gets you exactly that will be your family that will be your chosen family um, and I know right now you're probably like, oh my god, this is so sweet, this is nice, and then stream's gonna end, and you're gonna have to deal with this shit you have to deal with, with, you know, no, no comfort stream or no nothing, but remember that's not the end, that's not the end, I know it might seem like years from now when you will find 
when you will find your happiness. I mean, that's how I used to feel in, in school when I hate that, but you will find it. And I think that's the more, most important thing that you need to keep fighting until you find that. Until you find, even if it's someone that breaks your heart, even if it's a guy or a girl, someone, a lot, it doesn't have to be family. It could be someone that you just have, a, even if they break, it's like you have feelings. So you need to just, it, it sucks that I'm saying this to you, but you need to wait it out. You need to wait it out. Oh, Rihanna, Rihanna, you... oh, okay. oh she's thought, I thought she was giving advice yeah, to you. I, I thought she was like, and this and this, and <laughs> yeah. I was like, girl, it ain't, it ain't going no yeah. advice that we got here. Um, yeah. No, like, I'll, like I totally well, I feel like I, I would always, like, Minx is... I, like, Minx is one of those people that I know that if, like, if I was in, like, a tight spot and what I was like, oh, shit, do you think is like, I know that I could probably come to hers and be like, hey, can I crash on your sofa for, like, a week or something? I love Minx is good, Egg. I mean, but, that, that, but that's how I feel with you guys, too. I'm like, I mean, that's what I remember crying on stream over it when I was, like, had the stock. He's, he's not, he hasn't shut off for a bit. But when that happened, and even with the pandemic and you guys had your own things... Mm -hmm. Rihanna was like, me and Nikki are flying over to you if you need us. And it was like, I that was like... Would. I fucking would have oh, done. Yeah. I would have been there. Uh, but that's the thing. Imagine, like, like I'm lucky that my family would, would do the same. But if I was someone who grew up without having that attention, that, that meant so much because I haven't had friends who would do that. That was the first time a friend ever offered that. And I was like, you really can find people that will love you in a way you won't realize you can be loved. Not right now. If it's, if it's not right now for you. I mean, it could be tomorrow. Could be next year. Could be whenever. But that's why we gotta keep on keeping. What song is that? Oh, it's, it's uh, Princess and the Frog. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie. Is it good? It's I've, never, I've never seen it. It's a really good movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, Well... I feel like I'm our. Shall we take one more shot for the road? I mean, I'm not in a zoom, but it's like for the the half shot. Just because I yeah. feel like I feel like because Rihanna was like wanted a drunk stream, and I feel like every time I get drunk, well, no, I, like even like no, like even because like the whole plan was the whole plan was like if we get too drunk to do advice, we just hang out, you know. Like if everyone wants to hang, I mean, I want to hang. I always want to hang out with you guys. So like you know, if we get too drunk for advice, we just. I think I was too sweet. I was like, oh, I need some alcohol to, so I can blame on that. If someone clips, I'm like, I don't remember that. Actually, I was drunk, so I'm like, let's drink. <laughs> let's All right, I've got, a, I've got a shot. Nikki, would you like I, a shot? I was blaming on there? you. I was like, yeah. just for the road. I'm like, I'm not ending one. Uh, like, yeah, you want to drink. drink? That was too much. That was All right. Um, I'll make sure there's no cats behind my wheels. Yeah, Nozoku was fine, by the way. If, if people were concerned, he just jumped yeah, on a plate. Fine. So he's that is why it was around. loud. Yeah, he just jumped on a plate because I have a depression room and I do have plates on my ground. So don't worry, guys. <gasps> he's fine. I feel so much Dude, I cleaned my room and chat was like, no, not chat. Someone was like, your room looks good now. Like, no, I you cleaned don't. It, I, clean, exactly, I cleaned it today. I cleaned it today, but I still have cutlery and everything here. So Why are you making your asshole right in front of me? <laughs> As he should. As he should. Amazing. I hope cats do that. <laughs> well, you know what? Honestly, I feel like I've actually like. This is the first time I've also cried without like turning my camera off straight away. I know we turned it off. It was nice. To have that, it was nice for, you know, your advice actually helped me more than I was like, yeah, we'll help chat. But the advice that you guys have given me tonight, okay, not particularly, Rihanna. It's made me laugh, your advice, but not exactly going to hit forever. I'll be like, ha yeah, she said penis. But, <laughs> <laughs> but hearing chat relate to my issues and then also like Nikki with her five head you know, I, feel like... I deal with stuff though like i deal with my but that's the day that's why i'm like when it gets to like i feel like if it was just me and nikki it'd be crying or something <laughs> but really just like haha i got a big cock bro during the saddest moment it's like okay back to reality <laughs> it works it works so uh Child. cheers to that yeah why does uh <coughs> <laughs> Is it, should we go like one one once more round and then maybe just vibe for a bit? Yeah, yeah. We, or we can vibe Wait. and then finish off with a question. It's up to you guys. I don't, I'm literally open. I don't care. I feel like yeah. I'll uh hello hello chat. I'll go because I think it's my turn. I've had this. I've had this. I've had this 
question a lot, so I'm going to go for this one. It's quite a heavy question. I'm going to do this. This is this is your trigger warning, okay? When I'm done, I'll do this again when I stop talking about it, because I don't want to trigger anyone in chat. So, I'm starting. I mean, I feel this like this warning. whole stream is like a whole trigger warning. Yeah, but like some people are like, please say, t- so I'm going to, just to, you know, I, I don't want anyone to be triggered, so. Um, so, someone, like, a lot of people will ask me how... They said, how do you deal with, like, self-harm and, like, self-harm addictions and whatever? Um, and that's the thing, like, I'm, like, you guys know me. I'm very much like, aha, I got big cock, aha, like, I'm gonna, like, you know, not gonna answer your question, it's gonna be not serious. But, like, um, self-harm's been a thing that I have been, I guess, addicted to in my life. Um, like, even, like, you know, this time last year, I was, you know, I had, like, from I think like February to March, I I had tried to kill myself like three times in a month. Like it, it was a bad time. Like I I met Minx in this time. Like like that's why I love Minx. Like she just made me, she made me happy. But yeah, like Pug. it's like self harm is a thing that it's a coping mechanism that you sort of do because you think like I don't know. It's it's a coping mechanism. I'm not making much sense around my age. It's your brain. It's just all over the place. But like like. So the thing with self-harm you need to remember is like yeah it's a coping mechanism that people do for, for starters don't judge people for it like if you see someone with you know self-harm scars or like you know fresh wounds don't point it out and make them feel uncomfortable like that's not that's not the way to go like you know let let people like you know you can be concerned for people but don't like you know point it out in front of a crowd because i had that happen to me at the secondary school when people were like you know oh what's that like what, what are you doing you know it's uncomfortable it's really uncomfortable like but the thing with self-harm is like it's with any because it is an addiction it's a coping mechanism it's an addiction it's it's okay to have relapses it's fine it's fine to to you know like sometimes have a moment of weakness where you you know like unfortunately re- relapse with that kind of stuff like that's it's just gonna happen like there was a point in time after like my you know th- suicide attempts where i had like a piece of glass on my desk for no real reason and it's like it was almost like a a safety blanket to have that on my desk weird very strange i understand that's very strange but like for me it was kind of like okay well it's there if i need it's weird it's strange i know that's very strange but it's like it was there if i you know needed it kind of thing you know but like i haven't done it in like I'm gonna year. stop you, and I'm gonna say quickly because I don't think I, the, 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 you don't realize the advice you're giving. I think you're still struggling right now, and that's what hurts me. Oh God! No, because I haven't like I haven't like no 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 have glass on your desk as a coping. I mean, that's no, 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 because it was like, because like, I, like, I, this thing, I don't have No, any, no, like, I, you can't, I'm sorry, you cannot pick, even if looking at, okay, maybe looking at, but no, this shouldn't be okay. I feel like, it's so, like the last time I. Mean, I it's not like, okay. like, I'm not saying it's okay, like, I'm not saying, oh yeah, self harm is good, but great. No, even yeah, for this well, time, I do, it may hurt me. Jesus, I this hurts me. It hurts me that I didn't even realize you hurt yourself last year. I mean, so I, I, I I've yeah, hurt, like, like, like that because I'm like I'm getting not angry, not angry. I'm like I'm just losing my shit. I want to give advice, but it's more like I'm mad at you right now, and not even mad at you because I didn't know that. But I get it at the same time. It's more like I I, I did I, I injured my own body, but that was years ago, and I realized even the smallest things, even if it's picking at your skin or punching a wall that is so much better because you can literally kill yourself even if you think you're just the trigger warning again even though this whole stream has been if you, even if you think one thing can go wrong and you don't realize how many will people will miss you and i'm not calling you selfish because i get it i get it but at the same time it's like don't find it and it's like my is like it's hurting your fingers or like punching a wall well yeah, I, I, mean, I don't want to i don't want to like, throw away like that might be just looking at it. maybe in a glass case maybe in a glass case that's untouchable unbreakable you can put it in an unbreakable case where it's like i can look at that but it's like because it's like this is a thing never though, have it on your desk i don't know if you've ever met my friend jack like sit jack um like after after like you know the i was hospitalized i came out like i didn't want to come home like so i came to to Jack's, like, I lived in Jack's house until, like, fuck, like, Ju- July time. Um, 
and like like he still has like because i had you know like i like supernatural like you know the supernatural like thing like i had like this um if anyone's watched it i had this like the demon slaying knife from like supernatural like i don't have that anymore because i was like you know what i don't need it in my house like jack still jack has that but it's like i don't it's it's not like i it's self harm's a hard one it's like it's like i don't want anyone in chat to feel like because they have done it or like they relapse that they failed like that's the that's the one thing like i want to get across yeah self-harm isn't the way to deal with things absolutely not like you should maybe go talk to someone and get some therapy and like you know have a good discussion with people like talk to your friends about it but like when you're in that place and you don't you don't think anyone gives a shit about you and you think like no one's gonna care if you died like it's that kind of shit where it's like you know you don't you don't think you're not like honestly like i'm gonna say you don't you're not thinking normal you're not thinking like like normally like your whole your whole self-preservation like part of your brain is just completely gone and it's scary and it's weird but it's like you know you you shouldn't feel like because you've you've self-harmed or like you've relapsed in self-harm that you're any less than anyone else because yeah like relapse is a part of recovery like i haven't done it for like over a year now and that's fucking poggers like you know i hope to never do it again like hopefully i'll never do it ever again but it's like it is a, it's a thing that's really difficult to to deal with because it is an addiction like anything else that's an addiction it's hard to cope with but like chat needs to understand that if if you do it and you've like done it before and you've relapsed then it, you're just is a part of recovery it's not it's not a good coping mechanism please don't ever like try it or like start it Three. but yeah it's it's a difficult it's a difficult thing to answer because it's like how do you cope with something that's like a literal addiction it, 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 it's hard but you've got to you've just got to like literally just take every day and be like oh i went another day without like you know without thinking about it like, without doing it like that's that's pog like you're fucking poggers for like going even a day without being like you know you know and i'm proud of everyone in the chat that's like you know you know who've, who's ever had like an addiction and gotten over it or is still like recovering from it you just need to take every day and not think about oh well i failed now yeah but this is what's triggering me it's not that it, you know, the advice you give is good but the fact that like you were there last year i mean i know you say even if it's a year that's that's recovery but it's it's you're still you can fall back to that it took me like oh the five year mark to realize i won't fall there i turned off my camera just so i could run to both but it's like i'm glad that you're trying to give advice to others rihanna but i'm like you you said oh i feel close to you feel close to me right you feel close yeah. to me like i'm on it you've never you know, told me that you've never reached out. Yeah, how do you tell someone that? How are you like, oh, yeah, by the way, lost the year. no one knows. No one knows. And that's what the worst fucking thing is. It's like, you can't see until like you focus. So there's people in chat right now. It's like, they feel like they'll never be noticed. And really, like, Rihanna is one of my best fucking friends. And I didn't know that about her. Nikki, like my initial, this is the thing, my my initial response when, I didn't when, know her eating disorder. It's like, you don't. And I know they but, say, I come on your friends, but no one. Do but so like, my, like even my initial response when you say minx oh i you know you're one of my best friends like i want you on drunk cast oh you know i wouldn't ask if i wasn't you yeah, didn't want you on there like i've said to nikki i've like my initial response is like oh she's just saying it to be nice like she just you know she doesn't actually like me and like even nikki is like you're being a dumb bitch like she wouldn't have asked you if not and i'm like yeah I, I like realistically i know that like realistically i know that like people wouldn't ask me to do things and like be like around with them and they wouldn't say yes to things that they didn't like me but like my brain is still like fuck you like you're you're the worst you're trash you know like and it's like it's, it's like something you have to go over it's something you have to like work on like daily oh, my face would look better right now <laughs> Just start off. no but no i, I it's it, but that's what's the worst thing because you're sitting here right and it's like you're going through this you think that and you're giving this confident advice and it's like who's it, it's hard to take. But chat, you realize this, right? You're here in this room. We all look confident here. We all look confident. And I feel like this is why this was a good stream. Because it showed vulnerabilities. You've asked us for advice. You've asked us what to do here. And you've realized, you know, someone asked, like, how can I fix my eating? We, we you know, saw that was an issue. It was like, oh, how do I stop my self-harm? That even if you don't see it in other people, you don't realize how many people go through this yeah and the worst thing is 
realistically, it's like, it, it can be you. It might be like, this is a me thing, but it, it might be your closest friend. But because you're hurting, because you're hurting so bad, you can't check on, up on them. And even if this is a realization for you to check up, up on them, you they won't check up on you. And then you'll feel it's, 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 it's tough. It's tough. It's so tough in this thing. Like, I'm so mad at myself for not realizing things sooner, where it's like, chat, if no one checks up on you, like, you don't, because it's hard to see this shit. We love you, and it's like, this shit is bad. This shit, hurting yourself, eating disorders are hard to fix. Hurting yourself is hard to fix. I, I don't even know what to say here that can help you. That's the worst thing, because we've learned that even though we're trying to, yes, Nikki. I, I want to say, like, because I feel like, yeah, like, with self-harm it is a very um it's a situation it's a situation where you feel very helpless i went through dbt twice if you don't know what dbt is i don't know what it is in english but it's like um so yeah i've dealt i've dealt with self-harm i've dealt with obviously triggers i've dealt with impulsive reactions what dbt does and i strongly recommend you to go through it twice Go through it once, take some time off, go through it another time. It will help so much. Um, it it Because with self-harm, like just talking about the topic, I can feel it. I can feel it in my arm and I know you do too. I know you do too. You feel it in your arm, you feel it in your hands, you feel the tension, you feel, you know, everything coming up. It's just talking about the topic. And even though I have been clean for so long i still lay in my bed at night and i'm like what what if i did it what what if i did it and what really helps is realizing that that is an impulsive reaction that your brain goes through right now because it has so many things it is dealing with right now it has it, it just needs the outlet it needs the outlet and the outlet is self-harm if you go through dbt and I, i'm telling you if you go through it once i personally it didn't help me the first time I didn't understand it. It was like, oh, why am I doing this? This is not worth it. This is this doesn't help. The second time I realized it and I've learned it and I've taken past things that I've learned from DBT and I've, and I've taken them with me in the second time. And basically it is find other things that you can do. Eat something hot. Eat like like a hot pepper, a hot hot pepper pepper that hurts your your mouth, but you will get you you know you will get the sensation because I know that a lot of us do it to feel something. I know what it feels like to go through the world feeling like you don't exist, feeling like emotions are not a thing, and you just want to feel something. Eat something hot. Put an ice cube on 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 the the part of your body that you want to hurt do like find something that helps you like um stress balls or like balls with like little little knobs on them so you can feel them feel yourself you are here you are here and you exist you are watching the stream right now and you don't need to tell yourself because feel yourself feel your body touch your legs your legs are real they are real right now and that is something that you need to learn and that is something that that's very important especially for people who 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 struggle with these things and i strongly strongly recommend not just for people with borderline personality disorder because that is what usually when you get diagnosed with borderline personality disorder people uh, therapists or, or psychiatrists uh, recommend you to to do dbt and if you deal with self harm with impulsive thoughts with impulsive behaviors you tell your therapist hey i've heard about this thing and i think that would really help me you because it, it not just helps you with like with like all these i don't know what it is in english because i did it in german i'm really sorry but like um do it twice that's what i can tell you do dbt twice go through it the first time with an open mind try to take everything in but it is a lot to take in i have a this big of a folder with everything of dbt go through it another time even if you think you don't need it, go through it another time, take the things that you've learned prior, put them into what you have learned, like what, what you will learn, because you can always learn, you can always continue. And and also just remember that just because it is something to, to deal with borderline personality disorder, or maybe you don't have borderline, like BPD, it still can help you with self-harm, with impulsive thoughts. We all thoughts. have BPD here, that's hilarious. Haha, <laughs> up top. Yeah, but like, you know, 
<laughs> Wait, have you guys actually been diagnosed? Yeah, with that? I, I have been diagnosed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But like, you know, yeah. like that's what I can. And it annoys because you know what? Not, the first BPD is difficult because when you get BPD diagnosis, people are like, "Oh, you're crazy," and it's like, "Well, I'm not." <laughs> It's because but it has a stigma you. around it. Because yeah, I yeah, well, I think it is, but I didn't realize what I've never heard of DPD. That's the thing. Like I've had my oh, therapist DPD. try to deal with no B. I, I like I've been diagnosed with B. What is D D D D D D D It's so you know how you know you. Hey, love... My therapist said there's no meds for it. There's nothing you can there, do. And and there, is... Are... there is meds for it. The Whoa. the problem with border like. The, what I think about borderline personality yeah. is it is a wide spectrum, and the problem about it is, you ha you might have D B uh, DBT, uh, not DBT, you might have BPD, um, but you might like BB. Uh, borderline personality disorder brings so many different other things. We, it brings eating disorders, it brings depression, it brings attachment issues, it brings all of these different things. It you know and the problem with with that is there's like no there's so i don't know how to explain it because like i obviously i've learned all of this in german but like um borderline personality a lot of the times people get wrongly diagnosed with borderline personality disorder because if you have all these you know if you have these troubles people are just like just throw you into the into into that corner of like yeah you have borderline personality disorder um you know we like it's a lot of things that have to be dealt with the problem with borderline personality is it comes from somewhere and it needs to be dealt with at the root it's very hard to find the root though because it ha it might have multiple reasons it you can you can definitely definitely medicate it, but you can't make me you can't medicate borderline personality itself. What you can medicate is the things that come along. Uh, you, you, you can medicate. Oh. when I had my okay, eating no, disorder. Okay, no, I was about to say because like I've got two there, and it was like there's not really. It is a personal uh, personality disorder. What I will say really quick to chat though, um, for people that look it up because I saw a TikTok today where it was like if you have these your BPT. There are so many personality disorders that it don't, took me... Yeah, don't diagnose me, yourself with the it internet. It took me six months to realize there was... Oh, God, I don't even remember the other two names that my therapist didn't know over. Look up personality disorders before you, like... Th this is the thing. People are like, oh, this all fits me, self-diagnosis. And it's like, not that it belittles people with the real thing, but... You might have something else. You might have a different personality disorder. Make sure to look it up because there are so many things that are so close to BPD. And the fact that it took me six months, my, my, well, my the, the team I was working with, six months to diagnose that one thing. Some people are like, yeah, I have that. Please make sure how to treat yourself. Um, look it up. Like you, you can do a quiz like, oh, what, what? Because there's different person. But it's like, you need to be properly diagnosed before you do it and it's a mix between you might have something else you need to help yourself but also the fact that i feel like if you self-diagnose it does belittle a lot of disorders too like i see people like oh my god i get distracted so adhd gang it's like no no you don't realize what people with adhd have to deal with don't do that unless you diagnose yourself you you see it i've seen so many tiktoks apparently i'm bipolar apparently i have Tourette's because i yell out randomly i don't though i don't do not self-diagnose i see people and already saying oh my god maybe i'm not like that yeah it, it and and then like so please go to a therapist i i had to go to a psychologist to actually get mine they had to put me through tests but don't because you saying that makes it so common that people with genuine issues like i've seen a friend with like, where they can't even talk about it please watch yourself and even you might have Sorry, something, i'm not belittling you either you might have something that will be dealt in a different way that will help you a different way so that's that's that's, that's also a thing if you think that you have mental health issues speak to a professional that's all I can say. If you if you watch one of these TikToks and I tell you, oh, you have this thing, which ninety nine of the ninety nine percent of the time, it's just it's stuff that all of us deal with. We are all sad sometimes. We all have issues. We deal. So we have we all have intrusive thoughts thoughts sometimes. If you really think that you have an issue, 
go speak to a professional. Because, yeah, like, it's like, you need to do it now because I'm on a waiting list right now to be on, like, I'm on a waiting list to reassess my ADHD and maybe give me some medication because it's gotten to the point where, like, when I'm, you know, trying to do essays for college or uni and I can't focus, like, my brain, like, ping-pongs. Like, if anyone has ADHD, it's so annoying. My brain, like, ping-pongs from, like, one thing to another, which is why, I, like, I just kind of, like, I'm sometimes like, hey, like, I want to ask this question. Like, it makes no sense. But it makes sense to my brain. My brain just ping pongs from like one thing to another. I'm like, hey, this is fun. I want to think about this. And then I'm like, oh fuck, I have an essay due in three hours. I have to write 2,000 words in three hours. Like, you need to like, if you're going to uni and like you, you know, you want to do all these things, you need to talk to a doctor, talk to a, you know, a therapist, like get the right. Wait, what I will say really quick to interrupt you because you said talk to, that's what we've been saying this whole time. And I know a lot of people don't have the fun in, in, in Ireland, uh, you will get it back of the money. I understand America is different. Yeah. But, but also that like my parents, like not my mom and my dad are the best people ever, but they didn't realize mental health was a thing until later in life that I went so long without being diagnosed with my BPD that I just thought I was a psycho. Like, I literally, there was a point I was like, I'm a sociopath. I, I saw Shane Dawson's documentary and I was like, that's me. That's my issue. I'm a sociopath. But it was not, I'm not a sociopath. My, my therapist laughed at me, not in, like in a fun way where she was like, oh, you poor thing. I'm sorry you had to think that. It was just PPD where it's like, if you can't, the saddest thing is I couldn't get therapy until I was, I, I didn't realize I had BPD until I was like, what, 23? Where the only thing I could say is that I don't, I don't know how to help you in that aspect because I, I found out late in life. But all I'm saying is figure out you can keep researching but just don't be so confident in what you say where it's like oh i have this because i saw one thing research it take a year before you diagnose yourself and i'm sure you're fine there but um otherwise i'm not saying like ther- therapy is easy like it, it you know not easy therapy like finding out through that shit but if you don't have the the money the parents that will allow you go- to go to therapy sadly you might have to wait until I you're a- an adult like means, me to realize that to but you can I keep looking help. it up you can keep working on it getting. find ways to deal Love with you what you think help. you have but don't confidently say i have adhd you know i have bp because that's something that triggered me i've never been diagnosed with adhd i still think maybe i have it but i've never gone to get checked for it so when chat's like, haha, she's such an idiot, I'm like, I laugh at it, but it's like, I don't want to belittle people with ADHD because it's not just, ooh, ooh, what's this? Ooh, oh, shout loud word. Where it's like, until I get diagnosed, I'm not going to be like, yeah, there was only one therapist was like, yeah, you've ADHD. But this is the worst thing. They will guess. They will guess yeah, they what will. you have too. They will guess but, without wait, doing it. Just, like say, you know, when you said like, wait till, you know, if your parents don't accept it, like wait until you're old enough to get please do please don't like brush it under the carpet and be like well my parents said i'm fine because they don't want me to get therapy like i'm not gonna do that don't i have a like i had a really close friend who like i was gonna take to a doctor's appointment and help help that person out with like their mental health issues and then their parents were like no you're not doing that and they've never even considered it ever again please don't do that if you feel like you need someone to talk to who's a professional and you need to talk to a doctor please do like please like it, it uh, helps a lot. That is, and, and also the scariest thing with free healthcare, though, is like the first people I went to, I was told I had ADHD. You know, they told me that, but I didn't realize you have to go through examinations to confirm, like different type of tests. Like, I, I was told I had BPD. It took six months to realize I was diagnosed with that. A therapist said to me, "Oh, you've AD-, like he was like, oh that yeah, that sounds like ADHD." Frazier's like, I was like, "Oh yeah, I do," but I was never diagnosed with it. It was one therapist saying, "I think, I think," and I I, I genuinely don't think because I get distracted. But looking into it, I I don't have everything where it's like, please, I understand if you want to say I have this, but at the same time, respect it where it's like the people who are genuinely struggling. Just assuming you have something can hurt them in a way you don't realize. I finally Where it's like, it's normalizing it, even though they're struggling so fucking hard. But what I also want to say is, 
I, you know, I have met over the course of my life, I have met people who have self-diagnosed themselves and, you know, talked about how bad their life is. And that is, that is also valid. Like, we are saying, that, don't self-diagnose. That's a, like, you know, you hear that all the time and you should really take that into yourself and, you know, go to talk to professionals. But what I want to say is people who self-diagnose and people who make it their personality don't shame those people because those people obviously also have issues to deal with there's people who self-diagnose and who have all these issues and all these diagnoses because they need the attention some people need the attention and that is also something related to their mental health that they need to have checked out so don't shame them, don't witch hunt them, don't tell them how horrible they are, give them death threats or something, because I've seen that on the internet and it is, it is not good. Tell these people, hey, get help, talk to a professional, understand that the, these, also, these people also struggle, you know? Don't invalidate them because they are self-diagnosing themselves, but give them the opportunity to find out what is wrong with themselves because there is nothing wrong with wanting attention. Every person wants attention, maybe a different kind of attention in a different kind of degree, but every person wants attention. If a person didn't have enough attention growing up, they might fall into, oh, I have this and that mental issue or I have this and that thing that I am dealing with, give me the attention because they don't know how to find the attention. So don't shame those people, don't witch on those people, don't send death threats to those people, but encourage those people to find help and actually find out what is wrong with them and, you know, figure out how to help themselves. That's what I want to say because obviously like it is 100% valid to say don't self-diagnose. I agree. I agree. Don't go out and say oh I've seen this TikTok yeah, and that's me. Out, yeah but you know I I'm just. I'm going to run everyone's like clapping but this is why we need Nikki who looks into this. I wouldn't have even thought about you poor fuckers who self-diagnose for a reason where you're stuck. But Nikki's like you are a poor devil. When's Nikki going to become a therapist? Quickly just get the degree already. He's <laughs> That was so, I'm like, yes, yes, that's why the balance of, 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 you know, me just thinking something that people are clapping for, and then Nikki being like, but even if you do that, you are important, and I understand where you're coming from, it's so important to all the people, that's why I feel like, I said it at the start, it, it's perfect, Nikki, that, I'm like, oh, oh I'm going there this already. Get the fucking degree. Just go to fucking school. Do I have to work. Years. I have to provide for my family. <laughs> that's the thing. Like that's that's the problem. It, I feel like in modern society, like I hear a, like from all angles that I should become a therapist already. I should become a psychologist already. I should get my degree already. But the problem is, I'm currently working to provide for my family because my family has like issues that I cannot talk about, you know. But that is what I need to support my family, you know. So like, I feel like that's a big issue in the society. And I could talk about that for hours. It's like, you know, I know I'm made for this because that's what I've wanted to do for my for my almost my entire life. But I physically can't because society fucked me over. And it's like. Well, what concerns me, Nikki, is like you. You keep saying you will, but it seems like this is going to be a constant thing. Would you ever think about, like, I know this is big, but would you ever thinking about making a separate PayPal and making, like, a donor fund to, to um, push the money to your, your college? Because I feel like, yes, you want to do it, but I feel like more than enough people would want to fund that, where you can help your family with, like, you know, I, I know you're the whole thing that's why i'm not you know where it's like you can help them with what you earn you know from stream but then there's a separate thing that can help you like i think maybe in the i'm not maybe not right you're not ready yeah. but like maybe you should open like your mind to doing something like that where it's just for that one fund and you don't touch it you don't look at it until like it hits it and then you put it towards that because i i feel like that could be quicker than where you're going because it's not it's not like I'm glad you're helping your family, but I know you will consistently want to help them, no matter what, where five years from now you're like, oh, I will do that though, but I just need to finish helping, you know, my family, where it's like, w would that ever be an option to you, like, letting people help you? Yeah, I know. I feel like, so, like, 
I obviously I don't want to talk about that stuff too much because you know I don't want to like I would love to talk about like everything that happened and like I would love to like give people awareness of like what I've dealt with and what you know how to deal with the situations that I have been in you I've told you a bit about it Minx there's a few more things that obviously happened um but I feel like like the only thing that I don't want is pity I do not want pity and I feel like if I would step out and I would tell chat, hey chat, these things happened to me and that is the reason why I am this way, that is the reason why I'm doing the things that I do, um, I feel like, you know, I would get pitied and I don't want to get pitied. And I feel like if I was like, hey, you know, I'm doing a separate thing, a th separate PayPal for like my tuition and like everything and that, I feel like I have to tell chat or like I have to tell my viewers and my audience at least a little bit and I just, I like, I don't want to be pitied. That's the, like, that's the first I, thing. The, yeah, I mean, the first time, you know, <clears throat> when you opened up about it, I immediately did feel pity. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God, I want to help. But then I realized I don't need to help you because you you dealt with that from a young way. It will it, stop me if I'm going to. Like, I'm not oh, going no, to say anything. it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. You dealt with it from a young age where it's like you don't need pity. Just more like support. Like, yeah, oh, my I God. I get what you mean, no minx, but like I feel like when I feel personally, sorry, my brain is all over the place, but like I feel personally like a great sense of like admiration for people who have been through some shit and they've come out the other side being like, nah, that doesn't define me, don't pity me, I'm a bad bitch. But that's exactly what I was saying, where it was like, at first, when I heard it, just because of how sad, sad it was, I was like, oh, you poor thing, I want to hug you, but then I'm like, I don't need to do that because. She overcame this whole ordeal herself, but not only that, she overcame that trauma while being able to help and support others. Where I think at first, yes, people might be like, oh my god, pit, but then they realize they just want to give back. Where I understand the mindset of it, but at the same time, you don't need that mindset. It's mm -hmm. hard for you guys to understand because you don't know the shit. So it sounds like we're just doing hoodoo voodoo trying to talk about, but like they, I don't think, I definitely think, yeah, the first time we're like, oh, I'm so sorry, you mean I want to hug Nikki, like, but they always do that way to you. They always, you, you could fall and they'd be like, oh, I want to, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna baby her. Where it's like, I think sadly you're in that mindset, but it's like it would, it, it just showed me how strong you were, where it gave me a different mindset of you. But I get that, but I really think. I really think, like, you deserve to do something like that because I'm worried, like, you will, the same way, where you want to keep supporting the people who, you know, supported you and you won't accept help, where it's like, for us, for us, do a little dodo goal for your school thing. Do, do it. I, we want you in this thing where it's like, it's not, it's not going to be pity. It'll be like, let's go finally giving back what she deserves. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I, I'll think about it. I, I never thought about it, but I'll think about it. Yeah, you definitely fucking should. Because I'm like, I'm like, honestly, I don't think you realize, Nikki, like, I really thought I'd have people tonight, but even the shit you say, I I thought you were studying art. That's why I'm shocked, because the shit you know, you definitely looked into this on your own then. Because the, the shit you were saying tonight, like, the very smart. She's giga I, fucking galaxy smart. I don't think it's even smart. I think, I think you know <laughs> between kindness and also like to be smart, but it's like the end of the has, I think she yeah. could help people in a way. As, she as we is, say with the boys, Nikki, you have a giga, giga galaxy brain. And we stand that here. <laughs> I hate this. Can we can we can we just break? move on? Can we not talk break? about me for for I don't want to talk about me. I'm like no, yeah, you never it. want to talk about you, motherfucker. You never want to talk about you. The moment we talk, we hype Nikki up. It's like it'll be a joke. She's like, Haha. then we move on. But whenever we actually genuinely talk, she's like, no, we're done now. Move on. It's like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. You don't. We gotta. We do every day. Me and Ryan be like, so. How you doing with the college? If 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 you don't have one six months from now, if you're not in school six months from now, I'll force it. I'll <laughs> oh my it. God. Okay, Nick, so how can you ask a person that's like vibing and doing so well? Hey, are you doing are you doing your college work? Nah. No, it's more so. It's more so. It's like it's like are you focusing on helping me? Okay, how about this new pressure, Nikki? Instead of oh, are you working towards your dream of becoming a therapist? Are you helping me, Nikki? <laughs> I need you as a therapist. 
Oh, so you're gonna make this about yourself? <laughs> you're not gonna go to school. You're you know how to get into my it. head. You really yeah. know how to get into my head. <laughs> That's the first thing. Really, Nikki it's will like someone. It's like I could be a sim here, and you're really not going to call. You're really not studying your therapy to help me. Wow, Nikki, that's kind of toxic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's not okay. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, okay. no, no, I feel like. No, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no, because like you know when you were like, oh, you know, like good in a good way, manipulate Nikki into doing her college work. Like, that's how I feel when I'm like, hey, if you need anyone for drunk cast, I'll be there. Like, no, motherfucker, because I told you more than you. Like, you, I think you've only said that once to me. And I was like, if you ever fucking, I got mad at you. I was like, what the fuck does this mean? I was like, the fuck do you, why are you asking me that? I'm like, I will, I feel like I, I'm very, like, not confrontational. But if someone wants to come on, I'll be like, Actually, I don't know why I say. Oh, I just... Oh, no, I don't block them. That was toxic. I must have blocked them. I've only really ever blocked one person. But usually I'll be like, uh, no, but you're welcome on the Just a Podcast. I feel like you know my energy. I don't like... People that I don't really like, I don't invite them on the drunk cast because they show their true selves. But I'll be like, oh, uh, not the drunk cast, but if you ever want to come on Just a Podcast. That's... Oh, I've just outed on all the people that's been declined. The oh, I just... Oh, oh shit. Okay. Hey, if you got the DM, or if you got that response, uh, I guess I, hey, <laughs> we can talk and about I, it. It's, it's, but it's a me problem, like, it's a me problem, I feel like I'm annoying people when I ask them to do things with me, but, like, I feel like being friends with you and Nikki has helped me, I, and this just sounds really, like, dark, like, I got I'm gonna be quick. sentimental, but, like, it sounds really stupid that I'm, like, you know, it, I feel, a second like, being friends with you and Nikki has helped me feel, like, even just asking and being, like, hey, do you wanna do something with me? And then when you're, like, yeah, sure, like, it's helped me feel like I'm not such a fucking burden and not such, like, a annoyance to do something with. Because, like, you and Nikki, like, generally wanna do stuff with me, which is pretty We do, and I get that. I've noticed that at the start, where I was, like, I was, at the first, I was like, Dude, she weird. Why do people? Because you, I, I noticed it. I noticed things I did. It's like, oh no, something's wrong with this bitch. If if she's <laughs> on this, like, if she's like, really, you don't want to hang out with me. And then I was like, wait, I love her. Like, she's genuinely so funny. She makes my streams better. In fact, sorry, throw this on you. Can you dance to Built Differently while I pee? I see Nikki's gone. I was gonna go after, her, but I'm like, you want to dance? Are we dancing again? Dance. <laughs> dance. I love the one again. Jariana's gonna dance with you. All right, we're gonna dance. Are you ready? Are you ready, chat? Thank you for the Rick roll! <laughs> We're dancing! <laughs> We're built differently, Nikki. We got, we got Danny.
Amazing dancing. Love that. Thank you. <laughs> mm. This was a good idea, though. By the way, Chad, um, Twitch.tv TV slash Amarana, Mark Spam it. Keep in mind, this whole stream was Rihanna's idea. Um, she organized it. Really that's that's it really was, no, I think, <laughs> I'm over from just that small dancing. I've seen how many people like it actually helped. It was more so for fun. I didn't realize it was real. I didn't know the plan. That's why I said today I started. I was like, so I don't completely know what we were doing. I didn't realize it would get this wholesome. So big clap for Rihanna for actually organizing this shit. Um, big clap for opening up. Everyone who opened up today. Poor gods. One day I will have merch that just says podcast. You know, that's my <laughs> dream. <laughs> Do you want to see our conversations, our text messages? Like ninety percent of it, ninety percent of it is pogas from her side, not mine. And then, and then Mickey started saying pogas. I I it stopped. It makes me happy. Like just like saying pogas just makes me happy. I don't know why. <laughs> Do things that make me happy, no matter how small it is. If you like saying pogas, then say pogas. You know. This will get okay. matching tattoos that say "book." <laughs> no. Could I convince no. you to get a matching tattoo that says "book"? If I got blackout drunk, you could convince me anything. That's why alcohol is bad. What I've realized is you can. I'll be. I shaved my. It was so bad. <laughs> I can't believe I convinced baby no money to shave his eyebrow. <laughs> I literally, that's kind of like a fever dream in my head that there was a whole six people <laughs> that just said yeah in the moment. That's why I was like, it was that night when I looked back on the monitor, I was like, maybe we should take a break. No, maybe this right. You have to add a little 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 It has to be P O G G A H S. You can add as many A's as you want, but it's like, podcast. As I have an H in it. Podcast. Can we just get a big wall of podcast? <laughs> No, Wex Tex, I'm already losing my eyebrows to Minx. I'm not going to tattoos myself with something that she wants. What if you, you hit a goal? What if you hit a sub goal that let me do that? What tattoo? Like you tattoo? A sub goal? Me? Your sub goal should be me and Nikki choosing okay. a tattoo. Dead ass. Like, I'm being serious here. Okay. If, if I hit 500 subs, I will let Minx and Nikki choose a tattoo that will ta be tattooed on my body. As long as it's not the neck up. I will, I, I will choose. I will let them choose a tattoo for me. If you hit five hundred subs, you lose. If I ever hit five hundred subs, I will let them. I will let you guys do that. Dead ass. I'm not just saying this. I'm drunk. I, because I don't care. Um, wait. You yeah. gotta, you gotta do a little kind of like, like size. So anywhere below the neck. What's the biggest size? I would prefer if it wasn't on my lip. Okay, so this is the thing, right? I hope my mum's not no, it's two AM. She won't be. So I last month, but no, last year I got a tattoo on my ribs, and my parents have never seen it. But it has to be someone my parents will not see it because they will disown me. But you can choose what you want, and I'll have it tattooed on me. Thank you for the gift. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the gifting subs. I appreciate that. But I will let them choose. It, even if it's just fucking peepo, hey, or whatever, I will have that tattooed on my body. What if it's a cock? I mean, you only live once. Who gives a shit, really? Really, do you? I would, I would, hope, that, I would, hope, on you? I would hope that as my friends, though, you would not choose to tattoo a cock on me. Fair, fair. You know? Well, now, Nikki was in here. That would happen. But I know we're both choosing, so that can't. No. No, you have to choose 50-50. Like, it has to be... Thank you for the subs. It has to be. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. <laughs> I know this wait, is like a. Wait, wait. Okay, let's think. I mean, look, a brother. Like, 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 what this would this you be thinking about getting tattooed on? Look, I don't care. Like, because I was like, you know, I was at the point with my friend Clarissa. I was like, I'll have a matching tattoo with you with like the Montana Mountains. Like, I will. Like, for real, if if you pay, like, if you fucking go, okay. Oh my god. If I reach 500 subs, I will let Minx and Nikki. Both 50 50 tattoo tattoo for me, and then I will go to a tattoo fucking parlor and I will 
maybe even live stream it. And well, what would you do? What would you if we disagreed and it's just like the most ca- scuff tattoo ever, where it's like it's something so wholesome on Nikki's side, but it's like half and half, where it's so bad on my side. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like, like half and half. Like, yeah. <laughs> like a deformed, like sad <laughs> crying thing, and then I like a little angel. No, what we can do? Oh my god, Minx, you come up with an idea and I draw it, and then it's fifty oh fifty. Yeah, there you go, there you go, that works. A cock. <laughs> I'm not gonna draw a cock. <laughs> Wait, okay, so, uh, okay, my sub count isn't, is, does, it, does the sub count change halfway through the month? Because my sub count, yeah, like, it's changed. Sub count sub count's months... changed. Okay. Like, my, my sub count I'm wasn't like, me. my sub count so, was at like, like 3.9 and now it's at 3.4 no, 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 in one stream. My sub count on stream, like the one that you see on stream is 269, but the one I, I am seeing right now is 198. Is that, which one's real? You have um, one. You need to update your sub code, oh gosh, yeah. and you have um, you have sub points and sub counts. You need to look at those. Yeah, so sub points are only two hundred off. Okay, no, no, look at my. Okay, right. I'm gonna here you go chat. You see my you see my streamer dashboard here. Oh my god, I'm on two hundred fifty three. So there, you, that's that's. So I am two hundred fifty off getting a tattoo from Minx and Nikki. 250 off that that's how many sub points i have you see this the one that i have on stream is wrong i don't know why it's wrong i think it changed i'm gonna take it off if it's wrong um oh my god why did i do this to myself um you know what fine i i trust you guys i don't really care it's skin um but yeah i'm on 255 i love you three you're on three i have I'm 250 off having a tattoo from Minx and Nikki. You're on 300 now. No, I'm on 235 still. Wait, let me. I'll put no, it. No, motherfucker. I just gifted 50. You're definitely on 300. You're definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, 210. Let's go, baby. It's not a What the fuck? Let's go, baby. I'm on 310. Should oh my god, wait, in? wait. So you're going to draw Nikki and all twos? I won't make it mean. I'll make it very wholesome. Oh god, I feel like, okay. Chat, we gotta start thinking just in case it happens. Chat, we're gonna make a stream where I'm gonna do it. Where I'm gonna draw it. Oh my god, I choose the tattoo, Nikki draws it, and then... Oh, there you go, I put a sub goal on. Where would we put it? Because we have to agree where we put it on our body. Mm. I was thinking, tramp stamp, and... No! (laughs) Is the tramp stamp, like, over the (laughs) butt? Yeah, mm. I like that. You know, I used to want that. that. You oh, bitch, bad. don't do that to me. I thought we were friends. I didn't realize that was bad, though. I actually planned to get my tattoo there for you when I was a kid because my auntie had one. Can you I give, know. like, listen, I will have an, like, I will literally happily have one on the other side of my ribs. Anywhere but a tramp stamp. Please don't do that to me. You could do, like, here, like, upper yeah, arm. Yeah, I'd have it even there. Where? Upper arm. Like, on the upper arm. Oh, that'd be cute. My contact fell out, I think. Hold on. Oh, no. I don't know if chat if this triggers you. What are you doing with your eye? <laughs> he does that. Oh, Nick, do you wear fake eyelashes? Can I ask that? Do you wear fake uh, When I wear glasses, I do. Hold on, I gotta get my other contacts. I can't put them on, I wanna learn. I can help you. Can you? Oh, yeah, I, wear, like, I don't wear them right now, but I have, I've worn fake eyelashes. Maybe I should have made this 1000, but apparently uh, hindsight is 2020. It's 500, I've already made it 500, I can't go back. I'm a, I'm a woman of my word. Fair and fair. I will do it when me and Minx see each other. She will be there with me if she wants to. We can stream <laughs> it. We could stream it. We could stream it. We could stream it. I have an idea, actually. What if oh, I do God. the thing where, since I get to choose... Chai, you, you know, you helped if, if she does hit the goal. I'll do a, not like the 30 day tattoo thing for me, a one day, 24 hour for all the artists. And then I pick from the best design. Can I be in your 24 hour stream though? No, I no way I ain't do 24 hour. I'm just going to do 24 yeah. for Ooh. them to draw. Oh, okay. You want to do 24 hour? Okay. Yeah. And then I'll be like, hey, our competition, choose Rihanna's tattoo. Oh my God, that would be funny. We're so close. It's insane. <laughs> Horrible. Yes, poor girls. It has to be nice though. Please don't do me dirty. Uh, I 
I'm seeing how I'm feeling. You said we're mortal enemies at the start. I came in here with a very happy aura, and then you said, no, we're happy mortal enemies. Happy aura? You told me to fuck off the moment we came. I came. No, you made I said it in a friendly way. Fuck off, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A frog tattoo that'd be cute. What no? A little frog. <laughs> Pooh bear. Wait, I want to see, dude. No, Nikki's gonna do her too well if we choose bad chat. If you guys give me a design and a little sketch, Nikki's I swear just to God, gonna make Nikki it good. Cat, if you choose a fucking bat. No, I so we get to choose it, but Nikki has to draw it. Yeah. yeah. But Nikki's gonna make it look good, so it's like, ugh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Oh what if we just get a picture of her own face tattooed, like from the street? <laughs> okay. That'd be so much. No, a screenshot from this call, just of all of us on her arm. Then you have to realize, even if we're we're too nice, well, I'm too. Nikki's You're too, not nice. too nice. <laughs> yeah, Nikki's too nice. She won't let that happen. But you realize, you anything goes. You have to get yeah. it if you hit five hundred. I know, I have to get it. I'm I I'm a woman of my word. You know I'm a woman of like I would do like when I say something I'll do it. That's funny. Like if I were to set a sub goal for 10k and I was like, I'll jump out of the plane, like and do a skydive, I would do it. Like I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Dude, I, I didn't realise how dangerous skydiving even is. <laughs> I mean you are jumping out of the plane. I'd push you out of the plane without a parachute, though. <laughs> Dab. Wow, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are we gonna stay here until I get 500 then? Nick chooses my tactic. <laughs> oh my god, a frog with a gun. A gun?! A frog with a gun! Is that what you oh want? my god, a frog! <laughs> is Will here? Wait, is Will here? Is that a lie? We're just calling Will's name. A wine bottle. Hey, Will. If Will's here, hey, baby. <laughs> splish splash. <laughs> a cock butterfly. David! I love David. A cowboy okay. frog. Cowboy. That would be pretty should cool. I start my, should I start my drawing, drawing tablet? Yeah. Yes, you say I will. Know. I said that 500 subs, I'd let Minx choose my next All right, Nikki, I'm gonna like give you three. How about this? We'll be kind to Rihanna. We'll, we'll, no, we won't. I, I did say that, that, though. I said I would do that. Oh, next, on Friday, maybe me and Will, if he's not too tired, are doing a You Laugh, You Lose Off. It should be fun. Please come, or I'll cry. <laughs> Wait, no, chat, are you releasing a frog with gone? Is this it? <laughs> They're not changing. I like You're that, just that's cute. Oh, oh, do you guys want to see my current background? That's my current background. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Oh, what are you talking about? Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, baby. I love David. David's pocket. Oh! I didn't draw that. I did not draw that. I did not draw that. That's a fan art. Hey, if you didn't give my piss myself on stream, I'd be on, on stream files. That is pretty. Yeah. Why did I say that? Frog with a gun. They're not changing. Like, I'm waiting, but nothing's overriding. If I don't know where this came from, though. I don't know how they started all of it. All right, so Nikki, you have to draw a frog with a gun, and if Rihanna hits 500, she has to get a tattoo. All right, let me get some. Frog. frog. A non frog, no chat. You can add one little design, like a bow tie, a thing, but you have to decide. It can't be an, a non dinosaur frog. Shall I call, shall I call Will, and, Will and ask if he would think this is a good idea? Yeah, you can just maybe. Add him to the to the Discord group DM. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Master, Master, why? <laughs> yeah, we could just add him to the Discord. See if he. Okay, right. Okay, I I feel like far away gone is too good. So we have to add something else. Maybe a top hat. Maybe a mushroom hat. A maid dress. Oh. 
I don't know who. I pick don't up. think I can draw a frog in a maid dress. <laughs> he didn't pick up. I got rejected by Will. <laughs> Oh god, frog! A frog with no, cat ears holding. Me. Muscle, what the frog? fuck? Fuck me! All right, okay. Thank you so down. much. I appreciate you, but also you're doing this for selfish purposes. <laughs> okay, how do I show chat what I'm drawing? Okay, Should I do it back. like this? We're back. We're back. Are you comfortable we're back. drawing like that? I can try. If you draw, maybe you change your maybe, maybe turn completely. your chair around. Were you just facing it like this? We don't need to like. We don't bar. need to see me. Oh well. Well, I'll see you in a second. Want to see you? Bye. Oh no, that's the wrong. That's the wrong one. Okay. Uh, I need. A, I need frog <laughs> references. So let me see. All right, Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. I'm gonna be kind here, and I'm gonna let you choose. Do you funny. want the frog to have cat ears, or do you want it to have a cork bottle on its head, or a cowboy hat? Ooh, I don't know. Should I do hmm. Pepe, Pepe the frog? Yeah, Pepe would be pretty cool. I'd like Pepe on my body forever. I think the cowboy hat would be cute, but I also think like the cat ears is the only one that. See, that is kind of cool. I don't know. Like, I think it's like I'm but the cat ears is iconic, Rihanna. The cat ears. Yeah, is that's the thing. You know? Like, I'm the type of person that's like, I don't really care. Like, if, as long as it looks cool, like. At the end of the day, it's just my body, you know. Whatever. Be right back. Bye. Bye. I know she can hear us, but I'm like, I want Nikki to like drop the worst sketch ever, where it's terrible, it's... where it's like lopsided, and she's like, "This is it." And Rihanna really thinks she has to get that. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm focusing too much. I'm too drunk. I am drunk. I'm doing this drunk right now. You're so pretty when you draw. Stop. I wish uh, your side angle. You have a really good side angle. Do you think so? I'm always very insecure. Yeah, about no, it. I feel this sounds really weird, but I tend to know side angles more than the front of people's faces. And I was like, you have a really like the jawline and you're like, you very just like very even. Uh, but also you. I'm drunk so that might sound so mm. no I <laughs> oh my god cuz I notice like uh side profiles cuz I'm insecure about mine so you know how you like focus on stuff that you're insecure about more <laughs> no you're not insecure about that's like, like I'm not like no I don't like my nose cuz I feel like my nose is too long you know like it has like Oh god, all the girls. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. It's always the whole time. The whole fucking time I can hear you guys, and you're talking about side angles, and you guys don't. Okay, well, Nikki knows. Okay, so I had a nose job back at like last year, right? Because I had a. I broke my nose. And I'm very conscious about my straight on angle because it's, it's like a botched nose job, it's bad. So my side angle, I'm like, <laughs> my nose is perfect. Look how my nose straight on, it's wonky. I'm upset about it. Let me see. I Take can't because you're t t the thing Take is you're not so bad. You don't. You, I remember you said that on the last time you talked, but you don't notice it until you point it out. Once again, child, I, I have insecurity that oh you god. don't even realize. Oh my god! Oh I think god. you know oh this, god. Brianna. Why do you guys want me to have? No, you don't. You're just saying. We're that, so you like me, we're friends. No, Rihanna, I love you. I love you too. Oh, you're like, you're I'm like, I'm like I, I hate, oh. I hate, like, cause this thing, like, I, cause I don't want to be like that person, like, oh, yeah, I don't really like Minx, but like, Minx is like one of those people that I'm like, I, I personally consider like one of my best friends, cause she's so, I don't know, we got on really well, and she's really nice, and I love talking to her, and that's why like I feel bad, and I'm like, oh yeah, like invite me on the drunk cast game, but it's like I just like hanging out with her, like that's literally it, I just like I'm being around her. I feel bad for being my friend, or else I'll reverse Uno you, and I'll start ghosting you, cause I'm like maybe she's just saying. Like, reverse Uno me? Friend. What the? You gonna ghost me? That's so rude. No, maybe I'll, I'll feel bad for well. you being my friend. God. No, no, Rihanna, I'm, I'm sorry. How you does... always. Oh. Oh no, God, I we're, to we're 90, well, no, we're 88. How does, long, How does the anatomy of a frog work? <laughs> Please don't know what's that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, I don't know if you can see, wait, I need to. I'm gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> Why is it not focusing? That's so cute. I'm so excited for this! You must have done nothing! I don't understand. I'm going to be 
on your body forever. <laughs> Wait, okay, Nick. How do you say master? Do you see you say master? But is it master? Right. Uh, master. I say master. Is it master? No, okay, I didn't say that too. But then I was like, yo, that's weird, bro. And he's like, no, it's actually master. But my, but my sub emote is, it's from master. So it works really I said well. master. Wait, I won't say until the, they, they themselves say if it's master or master. I'm gonna oh, no. take, uh, white claw <laughs> God, I thought it'd be... I, I was like, oh, I'm sleeping by now. Hey, yo, fuck it! Okay, Lucky Blue 3, and I have Lucky. Lucky Blue What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they look good. I know they do. Yes, they <laughs> oh, I don't know what the doing. fuck? I'm gonna cry. Do you want me to put the... to give the frog uwu blush? You know what? You can give it whatever you want. Okay, yes! Ooh, ooh, or like even the little like a uh, three ooh. Oh no, it's five seven, my bad. Yeah. I've put the wrong this number. This is just a okay, sketch. I'll Minx, probably continue Minx, it once I'm Okay, but drunk. Minx has to pay for the tattoo. <laughs> well, this came out of nowhere, boys. But I agree to that. <laughs> okay, focus. <laughs> I called Will, he didn't reply to me. Just add him to the group chat. <laughs> I don't know if he'll come though. I don't know if he's even awake, dude. Okay, I'll add him though. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Uh, you know when you're so drunk and you just don't understand how the life works anymore. Um, here we go. I'll add him, but I don't know if he'll come. How does how do, how do guns look like? I don't. I, I don't there we go. Know. I've added him. I don't know if he'll he'll pick up, but I have added him. I've added the will, the will willbonator, the will amino. Do you know what I would love to do? I'd love to make Will a drag queen and call him <laughs> Will Amino. It's, so, it's so good! It's so cute! It is oh very God, cute. I can't wait! I want, no, okay, agreement. When she gets it, we have to be there. Yeah. We have to, oh, okay. He has oh, I'll, I'll refine it when I'm not drunk, but that's no the sketch. No way! That is not, no, that is so good! That no, is so good! Do you want me oh to God. keep it that way? Yes! What do you mean you're about? They look so- Oh, look at him! Look at his little froggy legs! Oh, I would happily have that tattooed on my body. What is, what, is, what, what is it in his arm again? He's his holding a, a gun. You wanted him to hold I, a gun. That is the best gun I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I don't my know God. what There's guns look like. Page, no. Wait, someone screenshot it. So if we know she changes it off stream, she's this is perfect. This is him. This is all we need. This is the little tattoo. <laughs> Are you gonna get a color banner or are you gonna get it uh in, like, get, okay, but you're paying for it, so whatever you want, I don't care. Like, I don't... I'm I'm dead ass serious. Like if you want that colored, I'll have it colored, but it's up to you. So if I pay for the color, I can choose any color. Yeah, you can choose whatever, whatever color you want. Rainbow. What if I make wanna make him blue? Minx, I, I will I... send yeah, that's fine. Look, Minx, I'll send you a picture of my tattoo now. Um but you literally as long as you pay for it, I'm fine with having whatever you want. And I'm dead ass serious about that. I don't care. Nikki really pulled that out of her arse when she's tipsy. She did. That is so <laughs> impressive. That is. Alright, so Minx, I'm sending you this picture. Let me get back. Uh, I'm built differently. I'm built different. That thing was in my head. Oh, I'm we're, so close. we're so close to actually getting it. Pride oh, frog, red it. frog, black frog, blue frog. What'd you say? I saved it. What? Oh. oh God, I thought she just got rid of it and it was all for funsies. My hair was broken. I love that frog. Oh. I love that frog. Where is my picture? Oh no. Where is it gone? Would you still love me if I was a Kuma? You know what? I've turned from hating lime white claws to liking them. Lime? There's lime? I like the berry ones. Yeah, I know? do, but I feel like when you drink too much of them, it's all about lime. I just want to marry you, Minx, just saying. Hey, yo, uh, hey, yo, what's wrong with that? Hey, yo, what? <laughs>
That's it. We're in a three-way. Oh, it's done. It's confirmed. Oh, so it's yeah. not confirmed. Yeah, no, it's you're not confirmed. Oh, it is. It is. Apparently, it is confirmed. Liars! So. It's four seven four seven right. three. Right. Like, oh right. yeah, it's confirmed. Frog tattoo. Frog. Frog tattoo. Confirmed. Frog tattoo. Game makes frog tattoo by the Kimmy. We did it. Okay, we did it. We're getting. What if? What if? So what much, if? What if I make the tattoo have to have like. You know how artists put their little kind of autograph signature on their drawings? It's like just he <laughs> hit you. <laughs> no, I have. Wait, I, I'm gonna show you my. I'm gonna start photoshopping. I'm gonna show you. Okay, my... we're having. We're getting a tattoo done. Hey, we have one, one for Nikki. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, chat. Clap, clap for chat. You made this happen. Wait, I didn't realize you had it. Well, obviously. I have a signature. I think you won. Yeah, that's my first tattoo. It was on. Well, no, my, you know I have scarification though, like you know the where someone branded me because I'm a badass bitch. I've shown you that. Why are you doing that face? I still don't What's know that? if you are allowed to talk about that on Twitch. What is that face? What do you mean? It's, it's body modification. Yeah, I know, but like getting... I don't know. If Twitch says that to me, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Rina's like, I quit. <laughs> I quit before you can back No, because like the thing is, like the branding didn't hurt because it was like um, a medical cauterizer, so it burnt off all my nerve endings. And then the guy was like, "If you want it to keloid, which is like raise, you're gonna have to pick it off three days later." That was the most painful experience of my life, picking off my own flesh. Pass that lottery. No, thank you. <laughs> God damn. God. And then I said, my tattoo artist was like, oh, that's a big, big tattoo for your first tattoo. And I was like, oh, no, it's fine. I had scarification. He was like, yeah, that, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, wait, how long ago was that again? Uh, last year I got this tattoo. Uh, this I got at 18. Yeah. My dad paid for it because it's my tattoos. That's why he never knows about my tattoos. Never. Ever. Mm -mm. I, I, secret. I, I, secret chat. Shh. Oh, I can get my tattoo when you get your tattoo. Because I was supposed to get it in America this weekend, but then the border said, you'll be banned for three years if you go there. So I'm not. Yeah. Gonna... I'm built differently. I'm built differently. I'm sorry. Yeah, tattoos in my together. Head. That'll be fun. Yes, that'll be so cool. And then I'll have no eyebrows because Minx will raise 20k and I'll have no eyebrows. No eyebrows. You are shaving them though, you're not waxing them, that would hurt too much. I think I would I cry. think about it, it's up to me, honestly. It's not up to you though, is it? These are my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another shot? Wait, okay, yeah. Shot, 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 shot! This one? Ready? Okay, let me put my, let me put my white claw in. Like, you ever take a shot of just white claw and it feels way more different? Oh, look at her little cute artist friend. Look at little Nikki there. Look at her little. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, look at her draw. Look at her do her little thing. Uh, thanks for all the subs, by the way. Though I feel like I very much have to thank you for, like anyone who subbed. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you a lot. You are the real MVPs. Um, we'll do a stream where I get a, where I get a tattoo. When when lockdown is over, I will get one. I'll even contact the artist now, and I'll be like, "Hey, can you do this?" Um, it will it will definitely happen. I'll get a little tattoo. It'll be a lot of fun. Made by Minx and her chat. Dra mm -hmm. Illustrated by Nihetu Nikki. Yep. Most important tattoo ever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Miss Kiff? What do you want? Get a tattoo. Oh, hi, Miss Kiff. Miss Kiff is a nice person. Miss Kiff, would you actually get a tattoo if I picked it right now? If Nikki drew you on right now, would you fucking get it? No, you won't, because you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> He's out here like, I'll get a tattoo too. No, you fucking won. No, you fucking won. I'll admit I'm a pussy. See, there we go. There we go. Big talk for a little man. He's. Oh, don't be mean to Miss Kiff. That's me. So apologize, Minx. Apologize. So I'm sorry. I'd rather, rather shit myself. I don't think. Oh, I hi, Jack Manifold. Hi, Jack. I love Jack. Jack's a good... Jack is a good egg. Danifold. Yeah. Danifold. Hashtag Danifold. Sorry, 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 sorry. Nice to you. Thank you. What Danifold? is hashtag Danifold? 
Okay, because, okay, I don't know why, but I thought that Jack was, like, older than he was, and that he I had a tongue. I was the cutest things that just rendered in my head why she sneezed like that. You was all sneezed. You, you were, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make myself sneeze. That's why he's dadafold. Come on, watch. Jack dadafold. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a son, but I'll call him Daddyfold anyway, because he's poggers. Bless up to, to Jack Manifold. Bless up. Bless up. I don't have a... Papa bless. Alright, I'm bless. thinking uh, if the stream, if this is, if we're done with the drunk advice, I'm probably gonna end stream and go vibe on my own. What? Okay. You're gonna hang out with us? What do you mean? No, bless. It's, it has been three hours. Why do I keep this? Um, almost four so hours. You been through what do you mean? Are you telling me you're all gonna leave me? I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna just sits there crying. No, I'm gonna go for at least another like half an hour. So yeah. I can five hours. So, but Nick and yeah. Nikki's tired. So yeah, yeah Nikki, you're tired. That's I fine. But I'm gonna I have shared so much with my stream today. So I need to and I'm think we about my life of decisions. You. Oh, are you. Oh, thank and you. maybe one day, maybe one day, I mean, you know, that one topic we talked about, no one will ever realize how deep it is. Maybe one day you'll be comfortable to I want to write them. a book about it. I, I, I cool. th You realize how shocked, like, when we were like, we, we were the one that could say, is this a book? Is this a movie? Everything about it. That I think, I think it'd be fun if you gave hints. Mm. And you wrote a book about it, but I definitely think like it could impact a lot of people because, you know, you've never spoken about opening on stream. Yeah. Yeah. But therapist Nikki, we're gonna remember. Ayo, hey, if uh, we love Nikki, we love oh, Nikki. Nikki. If she, Nikki. She's not in college by them for it. We just start a fucking go for me. Fuck that yeah, bitch. Yeah, we do. Fuck her and her. <laughs> she okay. bitch. If right. okay, if Nikki's leaving though, can we play core? Are you gonna teach me core? Uh, oh, we can play core. All right, <laughs> Nikki. Bye, I love, love you. you. Thank you Bye for the guys. frog. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the frog will be on my body at some point. Alright, yeah, I, I love promise. you too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Alright, you fucking whore. Let's break Well, up. I'm still here, wait. <laughs> Alright, um, let me quickly stop my webcam again, chat. And then I am here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, chat. This is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, there we go. Hi, chat. Um, that was um, that was a stream and a half, right? Um, I hope you're all okay. Before I leave, like before I leave, I want to make sure that you guys are okay. Are you? Are you good? Are you fine? Are you okay? Uh, I hope that wasn't too much. Um, I really do. I hope you're okay. I hope you take care of yourself. If not, go talk to someone. Um, and I appreciate you. And you're amazing. Really. You really are. Um, I will be back soon. I hope you're okay. I hope you're good. We're going to go and raid Rihanna. We're going to go and raid Rihanna. So you can still see the shenanigans that the girls are doing. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, evening, or day, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next stream. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for supporting me. I'm good. I'm fine. Just in case anyone's worried. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm vibing. So yeah. I will see you in the next one. Bye, Dad!